What's up, gang? How everybody doing? I hope everybody doing good because I am. Man, y'all, check this out. Now, I know my last live doing some numbers because everybody's seeing what I'm seeing. I mean, I, I really can't believe Zach TV, bruh. The more I'm looking into it, the more everything is unscrambling. Now, check this out, gang. If the narrative, if the narrative, if the narrative is true, that means Miss Teresa was protecting Zach and his people the whole time. So that means Miss Teresa already knew about what happened to her daughter. But when they locked her in that freezer. And that's what terminated her death. That's when Miss Teresa seen money, bro. Man, y'all, it ain't look. Cause if you if you pay attention, it explain why Miss Teresa was calling Zach and Zach on the phone and they acting like they don't know each other, right? But they talking about Olga Hobbs. So it would really would based on like they want us to believe in some Olga Harvison instead of what Zach and his people did. Because everybody know he real close with King Rob. Then I know he real close with Killer Bloodline Films. And everybody know what he do. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know what he about. You cannot leave no female around him. Hi, y'all. Appreciate the thumbs up, gang. Y'all thumb me up, bruh. And let's put this one in the added rhythm because this is part two. Now watch this. It makes so much sense why he would have Irene. Irene can't even look him in the eye. Because if you really, if you really thinking of what I'm thinking, why would she look him in the eye? You see what I'm saying? So that could have been a termination tactic. That interview could have been forced upon Irene just to give us that narrative. Then when you look at Peas and Killer, right? And, and they interview. Y'all remember uh, when Peas said, where Kendra at? Thumb me up if y'all heard that. Thumb me up right now, Jay. Man, we we need that. You know what I'm talking about? Now, everybody heard P said we're Kendra. Guess who Kendra is? Kanika Cousin. Kanika Cousin. On Lirinora's side of the family. On Lirinora's side of the family. Now, watch how Trey ain't finna put all the this together. Y'all remember the Kilo Brown story? Everybody heard what King Rob say. Kilo Brown was at the party too. So when Zach ask Irene about Kilo Brown, he ain't even want to talk about it. He was like, yeah, this, this girl, you know what I'm saying? She claiming she know what's at the party. Then Irene like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Did she want to be an FBI? She don't know nothing. And her, st and, and Kilo Brown's story match up with Lewis Chamberlain's story about the video and the phone. So what we discovered that it was recorded. 
Whatever happened to Kanika, it will record it, bro. Watch this game. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Can I pull it up? All right, here we go, gang. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. All right, what up, y'all? Planet of the Fakes here. And this is the only Kendra in Kanika's family. That's a bag right there. Did she just get in town? But this is Kendra right here. And basically... If anybody got sacrificed named Kendra, this probably would be her. I doubt she got sacrificed, though. But this is the only Kendra in Kanika's family. Have y'all seen her? Have y'all seen this Kendra? Quetta was calling her her sister. So more than likely, it's just a close friend of the family. But Quetta was calling her her sister. Shout out to Miss Anointed for getting these screenshots. Now, this is, this, this, this related to Quetta, bro. Planet of the Faith, bro, was, was spilling some tea, bro. I ain't even know, I ain't even know it was like that. So, this on, Lirinora's side of the family. That's who Peas was talking about, where Kendra is. Then we already know Anisha Cops with there. And that's Kanika family too. So, so if you really look at who all family member was there, you might well say Lira Nora's side of the family was the majority of people there. Right? So this her. So let me know, y'all. Is this the Kendra y'all looking for? I'm not looking for nobody because I know nobody died. 400 people's not going to take part in killing one person or another person and switching bodies and doing fake footage. It's just not going to happen, man. But I'm always here to assist people in waking up. This is the Kendra related to Kanika. Planet. So... Now I know why King Rob fell out with Zach. You see what I'm saying? Cause at first King Rob was protecting Zach. You know, King Rob never to you was just, you know what I'm saying? He was just throwing some stuff out there. The body dog was it, you know what I'm saying? That's not Kanika in the freeze. It was five women died that night. So he was basically doing Zach TV a favor. But something behind the scenes, something, something behind the scenes happened. And they fell out. And that's why they start earning each other out. Cause nine times out of ten, if Zach was there and Rob them with there, bro, they could have been in the same car together. Cause they showed up round about the same time. And watch this. Do y'all know about uh in Irene live video? We see the dude in all black that was sitting behind Irene. And we were thinking this Mike Mike. Bro, that's King Raw. Bro, that's King Raw, bro. That was in that room. So. Let's go back to this. I'm finna pull up another video, y'all. I'm finna pull up another video. Now listen to this. That's another piece of footage. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have seen this, but I've noticed that it goes kind of quickly. So I'm gonna slow down and pause on the important part so you guys can read it. She gotta be talking about she got to be talking about Zach, Raw, Chosen King. Because them, because look, 
Zach didn't want us to believe that these people, uh, that he know Rob now. You had to dig down his YouTube channel just to find videos of him and Rob together. So boom. Then you know he know Chosen King, cause Chosen King was like, yeah, we both know I know you. You know what I'm saying? So then when Chosen bust the move on Zach, right? So that means, bruh, Kimberly Wiles got to be talking about Zach now. Cause it's another video where she said that it was a dude named Stoner there. So listen to her story and watch how Trey Gang finna make this receipt real, Jack. Watch this. Yeah. Um, cause one thing I found myself doing is having to rewind the video to watch it. So let me go and slow it down. We can actually see what's going on and read what's going on. Cause it kind of jumps and jumps. All right. All right, we missed a little part there. We're gonna take it back just a little bit. Boom. All right. All right, but Kanika was not having it. She keeps saying, let's go. I'm ready to go. And there was like, and there was 200 coming from people were wondering if they can get their deposit back since they was, was, was in the hotel for a good two hours before stuff started getting crazy. People were asking for some deposit, getting their money back. So think about, think about when Chosen King was like, they tried to do a reenactment on the night. So they were inviting people to the party and stuff. You know what I'm saying? When people get into the party, they like, man, look, it's all, it, is it over with? You see what I'm saying? And people were like, damn, you know what I'm saying? We just got here. So look, watch this. I'm gonna try to keep up with it, y'all. Now these grown men at the party. It was really a girl type kickback with one gay boy and our best friend boys who we could trust and we will never do and they will never do nothing like this the rest of them niggas they started coming and we didn't know and more was coming so look what she just basically said remember the kim lou wild story said monique and them kept going in room 901 with the gay boy and and, and they was in their room you know what i'm saying perform some activities, right? So check this out. Keep in mind, it's going to be multiple rooms. Make a long story short, Kimberly Wiles end up leaving the hotel. Then Irene went live. So she thought the video, when they were going live that night, because she already had left. You know what I'm talking about? When Kanika said she was ready to go, Kim Lou Wiles ended up leaving with the people she came with. So boom, next time you know, a live showing up. Now you got Irene in the video, Monique for them, you know what I'm saying? So she thinking that that's in real time. And didn't even know that she was invited to a, a party that other people were trying to do a reenactment of what happened previously. Come on, y'all. Get those likes up, gang. Man, there's 200 people in here, bro. And I know y'all got y'all notification, gang. And I know y'all subscribe, bro. Calm um, your boy up. So now look, check this out. 
All right. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. this is gonna be going on at least round about one, bro. She said she should have lived when I got out of there, but I didn't think it was gonna happen. No one did. So I guess they wanted to leave, so it was too late. Irene got on her phone trying to catch stuff. And and, and she got her phone too late. The killer is the guy in the black jumpsuit. They were King Robert Worm. I think it's interesting um, that somebody's speaking on it, but when nobody when nobody was speaking on it at first, I don't know how much of this young lady's um, conversation or what she's saying right now, I believe, but. Um, a lot of people seem to find a little validity in what she's saying because only a person that was there when some of this stuff happened. And check this out. That's probably why she was scared to, to, to say the name. But look what name she gonna reveal. Zach TV, King Rob, and maybe Streets T, I mean T Streets. Cause they said he was dirt too. No, I'm talking about. That's that's why they ain't said no name. And check this out. Now I see why Irene said Bernard Bradley. Pointed at Bernard Bradley and had everybody thinking that he did it. You see what I'm saying? So I seen the little game in the tactics. This is what they did. They just point fingers at people that was at the party. You know what I'm saying? They didn't, you know what I'm saying? They probably didn't even know what was going on. Cause some people at the party ain't gonna know what was going on. Cause they they're at a reenactment, bro. So watch this. Um, I don't know. have some of the details that she has, but I'll let you guys be the judge and like I said, I'm just trying to figure it out just like you guys. So none of the things that I post are um, law because we don't really know for ourselves. This is just the um, footage that I found interesting and um, have been following and having a look at and just like you guys trying to piece together what I can. But um, Y'all want to know one thing I noticed that that little friends K match up really do match up with her story. It match up with Louis Chamberlain's story. And it also match up with uh Kilo Brown story. How is that possible, bruh? Then French K said, look, this is what we saw on the footage. They brought her out the room. Then he said they took her to multiple rooms. Right? Then he said she ended up in the parking lot. Made it to the pool. By the same people she left the room with. So if everything true about Zach and them, bro, because check this out. It's a YouTuber and they had an employee and the employee said it's a black African male with long dreads. He comes in her all the time. And Zach known, known for in and out of the hotel. He even was on the call with Chosen King and told Chosen King he called Crown Plaza right talking about yeah this how i got the interview so i called up there right and i told him yeah you know i lost some jewelry you know what i'm saying and, and uh and i use i use my last name and happened that somebody had you know what i'm saying 
uh, the same last name I had in the room. This happened days before. So you just admitted that if you on the phone with Chosen King on September the 11th, September the 11th, and you told everybody you ain't finna interview rappers no more. You finna solve the Kanika Jenkins case. And then on top of that, you said you got the interviews already. So if you were talking to, to Chosen King on the 11th about this, and you told him, yeah, I called to the hotel. And, and, and I told my law some jewelry a day before. That go back to the name. Don't that go back to the name? If you want to call with this dude named Chosen King and this September 11th, and, and, and you telling him, yeah, I called up there and told them, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I had a room the, uh, the day before. The day before. And I lost some jewelry. So, during the scuffle, did you actually lose some jewelry? Because if you struggling and all this, yeah, you might have lost some jewelry. You know, a necklace might have snapped off. You know what I'm saying? A watch might have break. So, them the, them, them the first... Them the first thing that's finna break. That necklace and that watch. That ring ain't coming off. So look. So, yes, the killer gets up and, and, and about to leave. He literally kidnapped Kanika. He's your killer. All I right. Figured, I do you guys a solid on this one because, yeah, this is an interesting one that just kind of keeps going and going if you don't pause and catch it. You miss it, so. I'm pinned. I wasn't there at the time, but I'm telling you, they was choking her or the killers was turning red, meaning getting mad. I would have to ask who was there about that. So this confirms it. Listen to what she said. She left before Irene went live with that bogus video. That it look that look, bro. This is crazy. So when she left, you know what I'm saying? Cause things done got heated. Now she looking at the video just like we is. You see what I'm saying? But when she left, she knew what them dudes was up to. That's probably why they made everybody leave that junk. Because you already got them coming in at the hotel, chilling, drinking and smoking, and kicked them out. That's the only thing you're going to need these people to do. And once you kick these people out, that's when you start the reenactment. That's when camera starts skipping and stuff. That's when you gonna have the fake Kanika roaming the hall. So look, boom. Special attention to this uh, Kimberly Wiles because this is the friend that supposedly was there when things went down. Um, a lot of the commentary, that, commentary that's happening after what she's saying, um, I'm not saying it doesn't matter, but it's about what the person that was actually present really has to say about the situation. So if I don't pause in some of the midsection, don't be upset with me, guys. I'm just trying to make sure the person. Now, look, she said the dude on the bed, right? He ain't got nothing to do with it. That's the young dude with the red hot jersey with the Timberland boots that we all used to think that had something to do with it because we looking at the shades and we listen to YouTube and saying, them the guys, right? 
but the whole time them the juvenile remember when i went live yesterday and you know what i'm saying i showed y'all that dude uh and he was talking about how the juvenile would you know what i'm saying participated in the crime you know what i'm saying so it was looking like that since the juvenile boy was there, then these dudes came in. Just say Zach robbed them. You know, they come in there, John. So you already know these young dudes going to feel some type of way. These grown men, then they hit us. So they really point the fingers at these little dudes, bro. Didn't even know what was going on. And they, and, and, and they could have been there thinking it was a party. Come on, bro. And they like, man, what's going on? So it's like they were putting the fall guy like, like, like they made Monifa look like the fall guy. Well, you the one left in the hallway, Monifa. But, but Monifa could have been a part of it because she did bring her out there. What them dudes? So look. Because if you check this out, nine times out of ten, this is what Chicago know. If you want to commit a murder or a crime, right, you know what I'm saying, get a juvenile to do it. They're going to get less time. They probably won't even get charged at a dog hell for the time. They might get they might get sent to a juvenile facility, you know what I'm saying, to stay there until they 21. So look, check this out. J Money ain't innocent. Mitch Reese ain't innocent because they all knew what Zach TV did, bro. It's a video showing everything. So look, watch this. And that's actually telling a story. It's to be um, seen a little bit, you know, longer than the others. I should have done this as a live so y'all can tell me if I'm going too fast. Um, or not, I'm hoping everybody's getting a chance to completely read everything. There we go, I'll pause for that one because it's a big paragraph. Mm. And I remember what King Rob said, what he did. I remember what King Rob said, what he did to Kanika, bro. King Rob literally went live. And told everybody what he did to Kaniga, call her out a name, you know what I'm talking about. Talk bad about the family. That's why the family didn't even respond. Look. You literally kidnapped Kanika, huh? Mm mm mm. All right, let me come out a little bit so you guys can read this whole line here. It's a lot being said on this one. The video, watch how she jump before the screen. The guys grab Kanika. Now look. <clears throat> she really basically, like how we were watching the video, and that was the narrative at the time. And that narrative was true. Brad Kaniga, when Irene said, what are y'all getting into? She was basically saying, when y'all leaving? Is y'all leaving yet? I believed it. No, time out. Hi, y'all. I'm going to try to open up the panel. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I could do it on her. Yeah, I could do it on her. I'm gonna open up that. I'm gonna open up that John. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna start opening up the panel at the end of my live because it'll be good to, for me to go live first, explain my situation. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end of my live, I can open the platform and everybody can, you know what I'm saying, have their words or thoughts. You feel? Hi, y'all. All right. The party was just starting. Why they leaving? Remember when Irene said, yeah, the party got started round two some. 
And then Zach asked her, so when the party ended? Round two song. They needed that people dirt at the time so they could have something to show on the footage. You know what I'm saying? If they want up to nothing, they cause the shallow look, they said if they want up to nothing, cause shallow uh things were popping off. A half hour and he shut down and he was dead as hell. How can you turn up like that? You saw all of us sitting there scared. Caught up yet. So you guys can see. Yes, the music worked, but Irene was trying to get the details in the video. She ain't want no music on. The bottom of that paragraph. Pause it for another moment. A little closer, just in case. Just to know he the main suspect, the guy with the hoodie. And look, watch this. And that guy laying on the bed who y'all think was Kanika, but it wasn't. Now, remind y'all what Kilo Brown said. She said, man, I done found a whole nother dude in the room. He did, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, y'all think they were Kanika? That's a dude with his big, thick thighs and those ripped jeans and those ripped jean jackets. You see what I'm saying? Remember that narrative. Remember what everything what Kilo Brown say. Thumb me up, gang. If this matches everything what Kilo Brown said. Watch this. We weren't drunk and turned up yet. But them dudes who was uninvited came. They was off some high powerful drugs. They was like demons. And I could see King Rob like that for sure. You know what I'm talking about? I could see King Rob like that for sure, bro. I think it's, I think it's bullshit, but it could be true, you know. We thought a lot of other things involved in this case was bullshit, and some of it's turning out to be a little uh, closer to the truth than what we thought, and you know, so I can't count out. Look, even Miss Teresa, you remember that too. Look, you remember that too when they were saying that about Scrape Drop too, and Miss Teresa. Miss Teresa said, Scrape Drop, did you kill? Come on, bro. Thank you. Watch this. Now, anything like you guys, I'm just going to watch things unfold and play it by ear. And hopefully we get some truth out of the situation soon enough. Bruh, I seen the video with King Rob pull out. Man, John, look, King Rob pull out down there, uh, down there about 50 bands. And we're flashing it. I'm like, man, 50 bands just knotted up, just, just in bankroll. And I'm like, man, they got to be some of that hotel money, bro. Because that's when he just started going crazy in the YouTube streets, bro. You know what I'm saying? So they let y'all know Miss Teresa won. Look, this will let you know Miss Teresa didn't care nothing about the rape charges. 
She want to punish Crown Plaza and get that money. Because things, because look, things already happened. But Crown Plaza ended up putting it in the freezer and that's how she died. So boom, she was like, man, look, this is my time of opportunity. Then you got the hotel like, bang. We ain't got no choice. And the people up here got video. So we ain't got to do nothing. We can't do nothing but cooperate with these people, bro. Crown Plaza and police department, they ain't had no choice but to cooperate. Now they're going to be good for the suspects because now they got away with something. You see what I'm saying? That's how they got away with it. All, all because of Mrs. Teresa agreed. That's my daughter right there on the footage. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's her. And they killed everything. And they killed the whole investigation. By her said, yes, that's her. Man, that investigation was a wrap. So now look. The dude in the red did not rape her. She said he sat there the whole time by the guy who Irene was getting to it. They said get to it. Those two are innocent, but the dude in all black with the hoodie on and a guy laying on the bed behind him in the red. And the other guy, Irene said, get to it. The guy in the white. The guy in the white in the t-shirt behind him isn't innocent. So look. They saying killer ain't even innocent. And I remember when his people reached out to me and said he was trying to go down there and save her. Man, gang, we breaking this case down to the T, bro. We making history. Nine times out of ten on this channel, bro. It's going to make history, Jack. Yeah, Robin Jail, he got caught with some weed. No, he got caught with some weed. And some dope. All right, excuse the background noise. That's just my radio going. Um... They had to be King Rob. They had to pat her on the head. Look, if they scared of King Rob, bro, if they scared of King Rob, bro, King Rob in them, man, pat you, the, the goose, bitch, let's go. So look. Ignore it. Some kind of commercial. It was actually with two guys. Him, look, check this out. It's, it's going to be two guys with this dude that's down with it. And Killer ain't innocent neither. And keep this in mind, Peas ain't going to be in the room. Keep that in mind, because Peas ain't even in the room. So Peas had to came back. Watch this. Peas had to came to the to the reenactment. And that's how he got on video in TY Live. Cause you don't see Peas and Kanika together in the live. If you pay attention to the live, when at when TY Live first come on, you're going to see peas. Boom, 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 boom. And then they're going to pan the camera around and show Kanika going to the door. Next time you know, you don't see peas no more. Y'all didn't peep that? You don't even see peas no more.
And I watched that video. I said, man, hi, I didn't even catch this. And then look, and when you listen to, to the story with him and Zach, listen to P's story. He said, yeah, Zach, uh, he gave pictures of the security guard to Zach. Zach said he looked like a dude that didn't shave, had a bird belly, you know what I'm saying? A little heavy set. Walking in the park a lot. And P said he saw some things in the room that looked suspicious. Like everybody was in on it. So look. All right. She went on and on for quite a while in this video. All right, here we go. She's having a long venting session. So if she is a person that was there, maybe it happened eating her up for so long that she just had to say something finally. This um, footage has been rolling on um, YouTube for quite a while, but I don't know. I just feel a need to... go through it and read it again since I kind of I'm doing now which is slow down. Y'all see that she like, man, I'm 17 years old. I wasn't even supposed to be at the party. I can't even talk to my mama because I'm still getting whooped. Look. Down. That pole look. That police y'all thinking that Selena go mad daddy. That's not him. That's not him. I could pull who I could pull that I could pull up her stepdad. And that ain't the police. They look alike, but that ain't him though. Count everything that's being said and read it all through. Giving you guys a chance to read it all through and see how you feel about the situation. If you think it's any validity to what she's saying, any truth to what she's saying. Check this out. Who you see in the elevators? Nigga just got back from Eden. Now, did King Rob say, man, the hotel fed the killers? What did Larry Roger say? They were preparing food. Right? And look what time she said. All of this started round 10 something. So when you go to eight something, man, bro, that's why you got to watch the footage on the eighth, the ninth. Because look, that's when Irene came back in the hotel. Y'all remember when she, she was like, yeah, I had to go leave and go get me some swills. Because she didn't have no swills. Because when Irene first got there, she left. She left and came back. And that's going to be round 10 song. So when Irene came back, things were popping off in the room. You can watch the video, the whole 36 hour video and see something wrong. Because that's when you're going to see the dude with the Timberland boot talking to the translator in the lobby and i'm like man what they talking about in the lobby and then he moved away from her just in time for the three girls to come in and guess where they go downstairs to the lower level you see what i'm saying So boom, now we finna see what finna lead up to this shit. He's saying, I don't know. It just, it just makes sense a little bit. Sounds like somebody that was there to me. See that you can't defeat that she was there. 
couldn't, she couldn't, even if she lied, she couldn't make this lie like this, bro. Look, it's another girl. She ain't even giving up the names of the dudes, the girl. And there was two other guys and the other people in the second room. I remember when King Rob and them said me to reason them with dirt and had a room that night, bruh. Straight Drop had a room. King Rob had a room. You know Zach gonna have a room. So that, that translator could have been the lookout because she did too much she did too much communication with the people for her to be a stranger. So it's like she was like a lookout or something. It's like she was paying attention to the staff member because she got friends K. That's when, look, that's when friends K kept going upstairs back and forth to the room. With the translator. Right? Watch this. They were making their drinks. How could we be so turned on one, two shot? And I just can't believe this, bro. This been on my mind all night long. There are two of them. One, look, one did it. And that's the actual one that she liked it. So it was like, this is what this looked like to me, bro. If you got a look, if you if you got a female, I mean no, if you got a girl that like you, but you ain't feeling her the way you feeling her. She, you know what I'm saying? You just want to smash. She probably want a relationship, something like, and you ain't just with it. So you got your boy with you, you finna smash. She gonna give you the scent to smash. Right? You got the right to smash because she let you smash. But when he gets up, his partner come in the room. Now the situation done turned into a rape case. Now, Zach is in the middle of a rape. Because of what King Rob doing. This what King Ross say. This is what he do to female, bro. He said, man, he build Cosby these gals out here and smash them against their will. Pay y'all, let's get those thumbs up. Let's get the thumbs up. Let's get the thumbs up. And watch this. And then I'm finna play Kilo Brown story. Soon when I get through with this. He went in there clean up. After that, the second guy went in. Hold up, I'm next. And the shuffle went down and they blow to the head. So that's why Irene said Kanika fell and hit her head on the lamp. 
That's what a female would tell if she in a in a if a female in a abusive relationship, bro, and she around her people and her people asking, "Girl, why your eyes so swole, girl?" I was at the hotel and fell in the lamp. Oh yeah, and could tell you a story. Look, she could tell you a story, but you ain't buying it. You see what I'm saying? But, but. You ain't buying the story. You know the story's suspicious, but you just you ain't got no choice but just to go along with it. Like, all right, this what you said happened. You know what I'm talking about? It might be true. It might be don't. Man, look, I know a dude that stayed down the street. His girl kept on sunglasses. I thought she was blind. Every time I see it, she look like Ray Charles coming out that joint. Until she took them joints off, I'm like, man, you, man. Nah, I don't want to hang out over her. I see what you going to kill her, bro. So now look. So she liked, because keep this in mind, y'all remember about the story where they said Kanika liked his act? She liked his act. And Zach was like, you know, Kanika ain't my type. You know what I'm talking about? Hold on, let me read the chat, y'all. All right, now look. So Monifa worked at the hotel as a housekeeper. much of this i believe because she's saying the ugly one and the one this then the third she know she said she don't she hardly know the girl that was sitting behind irene and monique So they sound like they setting up girls back though with the niggas they like or something. So hold on, y'all. Gotta pull that video up. Damn, where is it? Where are you at? I just had you up here. Damn, look like I paid that job. No on. names other than Irene and Monique, but she no names. So why shouldn't why won't she say names? saw earlier when she said she wasn't gonna say names but it's like telling the story basically so why not just say the names sorry guys about the jittery camera at
So watch this. All right, so let's talk about this little shindig here. Now, on the uh, 14th of September, four days after we was introduced to Kanika and all of that good stuff, well, after her body was found and all of that good stuff, four days after her body found, this dude posted that we were all in that room that night in Rosemont. It's a lot of shit y'all don't know, but we gonna tell the world the truth hashtag and zach slipped up and said now zach typed this himself september the 14th Sep look we were all in their hotel room that night in rosemont a lot of shit y'all don't know but we gonna tell the word the truth my bro slipped up and said we Come on, man. Everybody know what was going on September 14th, 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th. No, I'm talking about. Look. Kanika Martin. First of all, I'm going to say this. I'm going to um, stick with the Kanika Jenkins. Because of the uh, picture that, oh, I think I got it. Hold on. Yep. Because, you know, of this, and it was another paper on one of those older sites that she had posted. And I couldn't really make out what the paper was saying, but I could make out the Kanika Jenkins, the name on it. Because it was all blurry. But you could make that, the name part out, but you really couldn't make out what it was saying. So, that kind of why, that's kind of why, like, um, you know, I had, go back. I had kind of just, like, stopped saying, like, Kanika Martin, Kanika Jenkins, you know, Judy Jody, whatever your names is. And what the hell they on the phone at 2.42 talking about anyway. And this dude ain't got no shirt on. Uh-oh. He ain't got no shirt on or nothing. And looks suspect as hell. And who is this? Who is this fella? You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, who is this fella? So, the questions that I have is, one, how come when Rosemont put up the videos and all that stuff, you know, when they did the statements, if you kept going through them, you got to the pictures and stuff of the people, how come his picture wasn't up there? How come his statement wasn't there? And remember in the beginning, when they were talking about the man with the dreads, the man with the dreads, the older dude with the dreads, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you go to the pictures, you do see the dude, you know, dude got the salt and pepper dreads, and he's older dude, you know what I'm saying? So people just kind of guess like, oh, that's the dude with the dreads. And I think that he was the dude that worked at the store, the security. I don't I don't know because I, I, I don't know. But I'm just saying they did have the dude with the dreads on there. So I guess that kind of died that talk down. But now you see why they died that talk down, bruh. Come on, y'all peeping the game. Got him. Cause Zach name came up. That's why Zach look. That's probably what made Zach was like, look, let's get them interviews out there, bro. And let's switch that narrative, bro. Cause at this point, rumors are already circulating that Kanika supposed to be pregnant by Zach. But that was the rumor. 
is this to do with the dress? I mean, like, you know, we went trying to figure this out. And like I said, he clearly See? said that they was at the hotel and they gonna tell the world the truth. And he See? said hashtag Kanika Martin. He say rest in peace, Kanika, long live Kanika, or, or none of that, just plain Kanika Martin. You know what I'm saying? So he might have knew her, but really didn't know her, know her type shit. I don't know. I'm just saying. But I want to know how come he wasn't, you know, at least picked up and retained for like those 72 hours or something. I know he got a bullshit ass warrant or speeding ticket or something. They could have held him on to ask him some shit about this. I mean, they doing everything else fucked up. Why not pull some fuckery to get him in there and question him about this shit since he was in there? And another thing is this dude record videos every day, all day. So if he was at that hotel, don't you think that he would have been having his camera rolling? Like... That's what J33 King said. That's what everybody else said. The video was recorded, bro. And then look, then check this out. I know why Zach said, check this out, gang. I put this together now. Y'all know I always want to know where was Zach Lab talking. Zach said somebody broke in his house and stole his laptop. That was a lie. I bet you the police confiscated that. Because in the paperwork, the police said they confiscated laptops. They confiscated laptops, bruh, and cell phones. And then Zach telling everybody his laptop was stolen. And while he was telling everybody his laptop was stolen, he on another laptop. Pulling video up. Jess 33 King said, man, if them folk come out with a movie about it, they were going to release the Kanika Jenkins video. You see what I'm saying? That's what Jess 33 King said. I can't believe they still ruled the accident and they don't even know when this video may circulate. Because they'll be real messed up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them folks did that, man, somebody got that video, and this the perfect time to release. You see what I'm saying? Man, I know Mitch Reese done put you through something, and you know what I'm saying? And, man, you can get some get back right now by releasing that video. That video still exists, and I want to see it. I need their possession, man, and we need to show the world this, bro. So we need to wake up. Man, we need to wake up, bro. Man, y'all want that video? The only tool we got is the thumb button. Use that. Can't do just can't just sit here and just watch videos. Man, we gotta do something about this, bro. Look. You know, so could it have been some shit going on and like when we were seeing the equipment and stuff because you know they was toting around like some audio and mic type shit so you know did you looked at the video for yourself coming out the fight out elevator to see the video your damn self and mute them and just watch it i mean that's what you and i forgot all about the sound guy I seen the sound guy rolling the equipment. You see that on clear as you see that clear as day on the footage, bro. Cause I was like, cause I worked at a hotel. I know what the equipment is, bro. And I was like, why would he come from this area with the sound equipment? And, and where he taking that sound equipment to? I ain't never seen where he was taking the sound equipment to. Because 
the sound equipment that he had, you didn't need no sound equipment that night. Nobody wasn't doing no talking there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody had little ballrooms. You don't even need speaker. No microphone for that. He ain't like you on at a coliseum or a stage or something. So now she, she mentioned it now, man, bro. You can do. And I mean, you saw that. So was it a production? <clears throat> I don't know. But the thing about it is, is this dude like to record and also be in front of the camera, taking pictures, posed up with everybody. And secondly, Kanika stayed in front of a mirror, taking selfies, going live, and always just turned up and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So how come in all the videos that night you don't, see her you don't have a clear um uh, view of her or anything you know maybe on the elevator and then it's questionable a lot of people have their doubts about that a lot of people have their doubts about them coming in the building but i'm just saying how come we don't have a clear live or, or or as much as they like to take pictures how come we don't have any pictures of her and um Monifa and Shamaya and Bree and Irene them posed up for, you know, it's the birthday. I mean, because I ain't been to no birthday party and people wasn't snapping selfies with each other and going live with each other. Turn up, bitch, type shit. So how come we didn't get any of that knowing from the videos and the post and all these different pages that we didn't see this good on that we didn't see him on how come we don't have her in anything and how come we don't have his videos from the party now check this out when chosen king mentioned the six right then when you think about tayzande video when she said they seen police officers there on the eight. Now keep this in mind. They had police officers there on the eight. You know what I'm saying? At the pool area with businessmen. So just say, look, when it all boiled down, bro, it was the reason why they had to do the reenactment. You know, so cause if you look at it, do you do you believe, bro, that you know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. We're gonna we gonna find out today. We're gonna find out. Cause whatever happened to Kanika, it had to be a little bit before the night. Everything must have to take place. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. what if something did take place, like they drug Kanika, she made it there on the six, boom, 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 and they drugged her. Ain't no telling. This could have been going on for a couple of days, bro. This could have been going on for, for 36 hour footage until the night and things really got it. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> I'm going to try to let y'all figure that part there out. Cause I got so many different theories when it come to that. Only thing I know on that night at two some, that's when the cover up was started. Cause Miss Teresa calling the cameras, she she calling on the night, talking about check the video surveillance. You see what I'm saying? So if she was already hip there too, when did she get hip to when everything popped out? When everything actually popped out? You know what I'm saying? So why is this? I mean, these just questions that I want to know because y'all get under my videos and tell me shit like y'all just got all the answers. So damn, I'm going to ask y'all the shit I don't know in that way. I ain't got to sit here uh, all night and try to figure this shit out and then come back and tell you just for you to tell me some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know that.
I mean, because she she stayed on the camera too much, and he do too. So so you telling me that as much as this nigga rubbed shoulders with the stars, he wasn't in there snapping pictures up with people. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> so what's really going on? And I mean, he say. That night in Rosemont, hell, the only thing that I know that happened in Rosemont, this girl supposed to have been found in the freezer froze. But he didn't get no specific dates, which is another thing that is questionable in this case. You get what I'm saying? And my thing is, I just want to know why he wasn't investigated thoroughly and properly. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just asking y'all. Y'all say, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. So since y'all know so much, tell me. You know what I'm saying? Tell me. But I just don't know. And I want to know, you know, what he mean. By it's a lot of shit y'all don't know, but we're going to tell the world the truth. Hashtag Kanika Martin. You don't even know the damn good name. So you can't tell me shit. And then, hell, I'm not going to really believe a lot of what you showed me, knowing that you and your crew try to be, you know, goddamn sharpshooters with the editing tools. So, I must have broke my damn cigarette. Yes, I did. God damn. Ain't that something? But anyway, I'm just saying. So, I don't like the old folks shit. I, I believe none of what I hear, half of what I see. But clearly, clearly I see on September the 14th, you said we was all in that hotel room that night. And y'all gonna tell the world the truth. Well, how long is it gonna be before y'all tell the world the truth? How long do we have to sit here and try to figure this shit out and keep running in these damn rabbit holes? Hotel. I know it was surveillance. Just like on each floor, it's a. They might not have cameras all through the hotel, but entering and exiting the elevator, there are cameras. But it is her on the camera because, like I said, so many conspiracy theories. Some people said that's not even her on the video. You do believe it was your daughter on the video. Hold on, y'all. Finna uh, pull this video up. Now, when Miss Teresa said there was her daughter on the video, she sabotaged the case when she did that, right? So I'm gonna pull up Monique Mona Stacks video if I can find. It. They were talking about the pool. Take it down her. Hold on. Let me see. Right. I got so many videos I got to scroll to just to get that video. Let me see. Well, I don't think it All right, so my honey boo bears and my money makers, let me tell you something. I was over there watching. First of all, let me say this. People that I initially started watching in the beginning of this case, I have tried to go back and find them. I know a lot of people that went through plenty of pain. So.
So I'm going over these statements. And as I'm looking at Peasy's statement, something strange just kind of stuck out. And I know I didn't see that in there time and time and time again, but it just really stuck out tonight. So let's focus on the part where he was talking about she only had two boyfriends in her life, you know, when that both of them was in jail. Hmm. Don't you remember hearing that before? Sound familiar, don't it? Hmm. And she, what she had on, the what you wear don't identify your character. You can't judge a book by its cover. So I don't care what this hotel known for, because I got a lot of rumors that the hotel known for seven. So they try to make it look like that Kanika was in there selling something. Things went wrong. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You see what I'm saying? But here go the video that I was telling y'all about. Right here. Look away so you Now y'all see this? Watch this. When you give your life back to God and the devil overheard you talking to your dad, God, you better be ready for how hard the devil will try to bring you down. What you mean, God, you better be ready. The devil will try to bring you down. Father God. You said you will never forsake me, nor you will never leave me. I'm asking you in the name of Jesus. I'm pleading the blood of Jesus that you bring my baby home in the mighty name. Come on, bro. Only if Rosemont would have helped me find my baby. So she basically took the whole focus off Zach, Rob, them, and everything. And, and, and pointed it. Scrape the crown flag. So, damn, this the video. I don't even think that's the video. I don't think this is it. Now this ain't it. Is it this it? Now this ain't it. Man, I just had that job. Hold on, y'all. Ah, right, here we go, right here. Here we go, right here, gang. Now, this this is how you caught Miss Teresa up. So look at this. Watch this how Miss Teresa criminated herself. Y'all remember when Livernora told the news press conference that Miss Teresa showed up at the hotel around about four in the morning? And look what Miss Teresa said. I believe them babies that did the interview. Cause keep this in mind. This is why she had to say that because she got Zach off and Zach clearing his name. You know what I'm saying? And Zach finna help it point to the hotel staff on the murder charge. You see that? She said, thank you, love. Justice for Kaliga, Crown Plaza staff did me the same way. The first time I went up there by myself, 
around five and six in the morning. Around five and six in the morning, she doing the same thing with Rosemont doing. Uh, what time Kanika uh uh roam in the hallway between two and three? So you might well say I arrive up there between four and five o'clock in the morning. The security guard never showed me his face. You see what I'm saying? So Miss Teresa put herself at Crown Plaza at a time when the beverage manager was finna be locking her in the freezer. So that means she had to agree with that, bruh. Before he even locked the door because they was all in the pool area. You know what I'm talking about? Hello, what y'all say? And then look at all the people he was taking up in the interview. He ain't, he ain't want to say nothing about T.Y. Live video. Everybody talking about they heard King Rob voice. He ain't mentioning that. You know what I'm talking about? Basically, Zach interview. It's the same narrative the police gave us. I mean, what she was at in the hallway. Police report in the hallway. Look at Zach interview. He basically interviewed and asked the question based off the police report. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to let y'all hear it is. <laughs> Teresa posted, I believe them babies that did the interview, thank you loves, just as for Kanika Martin, Crown Plaza Hotel staff did me the same way. The first time I went up there by myself around 5, 6, 6 a.m., 9, 9, 2017, the security guard never showed me his face. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me, the thing is, when Teresa puts a time, she never puts a specific time. If you notice, it's always between this and this ish. Let's see. Um, look, like right. Hold on. Now, peep game. Watch this. If she says she made it up there at the pool, look. I'm going to say she, she was there in that pool area at 4 in the morning. Her, uh, Lirinor, and everybody else. So, Kanika never had... Look, I'm going to read it down. On September the 10th, they were cleaning the pool at around 3 and 4 in the morning. If you say that on the 9th, bro, you got your, you got your case. You got your case, bruh. Miss Teresa knew what she was doing. I'm going to just say this was on the 10. And look what she described. Mom. Look like Kanika been choked. And her hair look, look her all over her head. And it look like she been fighting. Kanika T was knocked out of her mouth. And you know what I'm talking about? About her looking at video. She said about us uh, looking at videos and well as bruises on her body. I want to know what video she talking about. Because we got the videos of the bruises and all that. That ain't nothing new. But she got to be talking about a particular video. You see what I'm saying? So, Miss Teresa know about the video, bro. She basically telling them, look, I know what crime was. I know what happened to Kanika in that room. Don't forget about, don't forget about what Zach and Rob and them did. Don't you see what I'm saying? 
Man, look, I don't even look. Check this out. Kanika, I don't even think Kanika body. Look, they had to get Kanika body out of there the minute that shit happened. They said they found her on the tenth, but she they found her on the ninth. Miss Teresa said it. Then when I looked at the footage, when you when you look at the footage with a with a fresh pair of eyes and ears, you're gonna see the same goddamn thing. You know what I'm talking about? So look. Okay, so like right here, three, four ish. She never. Puts. She never puts again. No, this five, six ish. Like she never. Let's read this. They tamper with evidence as well as not taking any fingerprints. If footage showed Kanika Powell walking to the freezer, why in the hell rose my police were looking in the back dock area instead of the freezer area? Because look, y'all, that's what I would break it down. They, these people show y'all the security guard walking to the freezer and locking it and then went outside and they got us thinking that he went and got the police that didn't happen when he locked that freezer though that was like five in the morning between the hours of four and five in their morning so when Kaniga, so when he went back to the freezer with the police, it had to been around eight o'clock that night when he came back with the police. That's when they did their investigation, bro. And then that's when they was like, look, we need to pull her out the freezer. You see what I'm saying? If you didn't catch my last live and my, my, my previous two lives, you would still be thinking the beverage manager went to the freezer, looked in there, discovered the body, and then alerted to the police. And look what Miss Teresa saying in so many words, that didn't even happen because she know that didn't happen, bro. That's why she mentioned it. They tapped with evidence as well, not taking fingerprints. If the footage show could need a pal walking into the freezer, why in the hell Rosemont was looking in the back dock instead of the freezer? And also the detective stated that we were doing the investigation. If you were so if 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 you all were so called investigate, how in the hell Crown Plaza employee that they, Rosemont police and the fire department stated they found Kanika body? See, you see what I'm saying? That's why. That's why she know the 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 beverage manager, the sister beverage manager, didn't find Kanika in the freezer. You see what I'm saying? He didn't find her in the freezer. When they put her in there, they just showed him on video locking the freezer though. Long time out. Then you don't even hear nothing from Kanika. The last time you heard anything from Kanika was on the field. You didn't hear nothing on the six. Then she made one post on the seven and never again. Man, look, that's what I said. We need more thumbs up. Yeah. You know, this five, six ish. Like, she never puts a specific time. It's always some ballpark guesstimation, you know? Look. Bruh, this need to, man, bruh, this need to be shown to an outside agent, police agency, instead of Rosemont, bruh. But look what this lady said. 
around 10 and 11. The second time my daughter, Lirinora, made a missing person report. See that? The sec you had the second time to make a report. And I just broke the missing person report down with telling everybody it was two. Look, watch what she finna say. After she made the second missing person report, after being denied by Crown Plaza and helping to assist in the search of Crown Plaza, the denied of looking at the video again. Lirinora, Paris, and Kiki arrived back to Crown Plaza, and on. And on the third time, around 6 and 7 p.m., my family, through friends, and myself never left that hotel. We was all made to stand outside for hours, which we did. That's why they had to stand out for hours, bro. Look, We did whatever they told us to do in peace because we were not going to give Rosemont police the reason to lock us up. Hmm. We were determined to find my dog. Even though we stood there praying in peace, they watched us. They should have been watching Crown Plaza, Rosemont Police Department left again after after half ass looking for my baby Kanika Jenkins and would have still been alive Kanika still would have been alive if they didn't let her if they didn't let that beverage manager lock her in the freezer Miss Teresa know her daughter was deceased, bro. She know how her daughter died, but when she get drunk, she want to tell you. Yeah, allegedly, my daughter was in the freezer on the night. And then, and then she give you a timestamp where to look at to, look on the footage, what's going on in the footage at 10 and 11 o'clock on the night. What the footage show on the 10th, I mean, on the 9th, at 10 and 11 o'clock, bruh. Because if you watch that footage, you see why she said what she said. You see the sister beverage manager, bruh. The security. In the kitchen. That's why she, that why she said, yeah, he was in the kitchen with Kanika for two hours and came out. But Kanika didn't. You see what I'm saying? Now she got, now she up in the pressure on Rosemont. Cause now she could point Rosemont who murdered. Cause that's what everybody want to know who murdered her. So when we want to know who murdered her, we know Crown Plaza had something to do with it. They, they did the murdering. They did the murder. And so Miss Teresa know that that's the thing right there. I know who did it. But she ain't telling everybody what happened to her before. You see what I'm saying? Miss Teresa, no, bruh. That's why she was that probably why she was out in the parking lot, bruh. Look. Now that was supposed to have been the peep. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Happy belated birthday. All right. The people at that party claim at the reenactment, claimed that that was their first time in Rosemont, right? Okay, first time in Rosemont. 
So why was there a ticket for the sixth for the Crown Plaza for that Rosemont Hotel in Teresa's vehicle for the sixth? Now, I told y'all, Melanin came out and told you that they flew her out there to do the makeup for Kanika in the freezer. <clears throat> she said she got out there on the, I want to say like the 5th, and she stayed to like the 14th, right? The reason why she had a ticket, y'all, and at first, on first conclusion, I thought that Kanika went to the Crown Plaza. And they got her wasted there. But then at the CAFA examination, they took her to another hotel on the 6th. And we're going to get into the reasoning why she was at that hotel on the 6th. I'm going to show you the video of her in that hotel on the 6th. <clears throat> the reason why Teresa had a ticket in her car for the 6th is because all them jokers were down there around Rosemont, around all them areas, getting everything. Got them jackets confused, because if y'all realize... So, why Kilo Brown story... Watch this. Why Kilo Brown story matching up with Kimberly Wiles? Because she's saying the same thing Kimberly Wiles said. Right? Thumb me up. Man, thumb me up, gang. If this lady got the same narrative as Kimberly, look, as Kimberly Wild Story, watch this. And these young people, there. These is young people. And then they, and instead of them, you know, you know, you know, being up front, niggas is testing to see where you at. Seeing if you gonna smack them away or see if you gonna be like, hey, hey, stop playing. Or niggas is trying to see exactly how much you gonna defend yourself. And baby girl probably ain't had too much defense of her. She probably slapped leaning over the thing. And that's in the video where we hear, stop, man, stop, quit messing with me. And then the best friend getting bothered because she, the girl getting irritated. So the best friend like, girl, enjoy yourself. Meanwhile, the best friend, but ugly. So I feel like... I won't even be surprised that she really know who she talking about. She probably talking about Zach, Rob, and them, and his niggas, bruh. Because she already know it's teenager, and she know it was grown men came to the party. And then King Rob said, yeah, you was there too. If King Ron said you were there, you had to been there because the way your mouth running off right now. And then you from Minnesota, the same area King Rob and them at. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Look. Ain't that what Kimberly Wilde said? The dude that was in the room, she acted it. She actually liked him, and he did her like that. You see what I'm saying? Look when she went live and said this. She went live at ten at ten p.m. at ten p.m. Ain't that the same time the beverage man is look? If this at now nah, this at t this at ten p.m. That's gonna be right before. Now they're gonna be t p.m. at night. So that t p.m. that night when she spread that narrative, the next day Miss Teresa created the Kanika Jenkins page and uploaded all that stuff on her. Hey y'all, y'all, let's get the 300 likes, gang. Let's see, can we get the 300 likes, bro? You know what I'm talking about? Pay y'all, shout out to the super chat. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to the super chat. Shout out to the super chat. Shout out to the super chat. She brought was moving that nigga around like, man, leave me alone. I ain't, he probably like, oh, you drunk. 
like you tripping. She's like, no, I'm not drunk like that. Like, I'm fucked up. Like, I'm leave me alone now. I realized that I'm fucked up. I want to lay down. And the nigga was bothered by that. He like, oh, man, I'm ready to go. So he turned to his homeboy in the hotel room. See, now we blaming all the wrong people. The butt ugly bitch on live. So this is how, and then everybody like, oh, how you get your keys? How she get your keys? This is how the little girl get the key. This is how they get her keys. Same way we all go out. When I go out, I don't have a purse. My cousin may not have a purse. Shit, we getting drunk. Hey, bitch, put my, put my keys in your purse. Put my keys in your pouch. You know, little shit, that's how much. So if you see um, when they going up the elevator, the little girl that's dead, she does not have a purse for her. She's jigging with just her phone and her keys. She don't have a purse for her. It's the friend. The best friend is the one with the purse, a pouch, and all types of shit. So she about to her best friend, like, bitch, we about to get turned up. We about to get drunk. I don't want to lose my phone, and I don't want to lose these keys. These my mama's keys. Wookie, 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 put these in your purse. Like we do. Y'all not paying attention. We do this type of shit. So don't be like, oh, how y'all get her keys? Y'all knew y'all. She got her jacket on. She don't got on that girl's jacket. And that's how they end up with the keys. So she got, she knew she had her friend keys. Boom, boom, boom. Meantime, between time, she liked the little nigga. Now this is how, now this is when everything goes left. How would she know that, that she liked the dude? She's saying the same thing Kimberly Wilde said. And then listen to her narrative with what, what's about to happen next. Old girl leaving and shit. The best friend, like, uh, the niggas is in the, now the niggas don't went to the hallway. Now they hear it. So now they in the hallway discussing everybody else in the hotel room, minding their business. The vibe dead. Cause you know, you know, everybody be feeling awkward when there's little side ass shit going on. So of course it ain't turned up. So everybody's in there with awkward low vibes. Turned up on it. And everybody's like, oh, I heard somebody say, help me. That girl did not say help me. That's not what y'all hear. Y'all hear the music coming in and coming off because they was in a hotel room and they was on YouTube. The YouTube kept stopping and stopping and stopping. And it just so happened to play such a little tiny ass piece of the song that it just sounded like it said, help me, but that's not it. That is the song trying to play in. And that's why the girl was like, what the fuck? Because the song just came in out of nowhere because they was waiting on it to load. That's why they on the live and the study going dead and the vibe going dead because the YouTube wouldn't continue to play. See, see I'm helping y'all understand. I'm helping y'all to learn how to watch your facts before y'all open y'all's mouth. Meantime, between now, they all in there chilling. Now, the best friend definitely knows what, her, what happened with her friend. Let me tell y'all what happened, y'all. Let me put my ratchet bitch brain on. I'm the butt ugly friend. I'm sitting here with my best friend. My best friend cute as fuck. My best friend a bad bitch. These niggas like... These, these niggas is feeling us. I like one of the boys. Uh, one of the boys like my best friend. My best friend fucked up though. My best friend ain't feeling this nigga, but I'm feeling a friend. I want to go with this nigga. I want to fuck this nigga. So meantime, between time, I don't really, I really don't want to go by myself and do that. He went with my friend. So I'm like, best friend, man, come on. I, I'm trying to encourage my best friend to get it together to sober it the fuck up. I, I don't, I don't want to think in my mind my best friend's that drunk because in my head I'm thinking about dick. So I'm like, best friend, you ain't that fucked up. Come on best friend let's go meantime between time best friend don't lay down you don't came and picked your best friend up and don't brung her out here to the hallway now this is how i feel like it went went down everybody's still in the hotel room this is why nobody really understood what was going on after the best friend so they like i don't know she, her best friend drug her out the room and, and when she returned she wasn't with her because this is what happened that little bitch was too thirsty to get her rocks off it was too many motherfuckers in that hotel room that little girl ran off brought her best friend out to the hallway for that other nigga satisfaction they all was on some finna leave type shit meantime between time she done ran off with the other dude and she like she done got her best friend out to the hallway for the other nigga this is what happened she done got her best friend out to the hallway for the other nigga meantime the motherfucking between time she done ducked off in the hotel she done ducked off in the hotel with somebody else But if, if y'all were thinking, check this out. This wasn't even going in room 926. This wasn't even happening in room 926, bruh. That's how she know. Because look, if they doing the reenactment at the party on the night, you think all the that's going on? No, bruh. 
That was the whole purpose of the reenactment. So this had to be in another room on a different flow some type, bro. You see what I'm saying? Because remind y'all, Kim Lou Well said she got out of there. And she named room 901, bro. She, she ain't even never said nothing about room 926. That's how you know it's real. It could have been on the eleven flow like Miss Teresa and them, you know what I'm saying? Cause if Miss Teresa and them, cause you gotta think about the binoculars. You gotta think about, you know what I'm saying, Miss Teresa at the parking lot. It was something on that eleven flow, bro, for them folks, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm talking about? Now look at this. Meantime, in between time, she done ducked off in a hotel with the other best friend. She done ducked off with the other nigga. She, once she done, done, probably got busted down for all we know by the ice machine or the vending machine. You know how hotels have little ducks and cuts, stairways, anything. She, she got bust down by the ice machine. Look. Left her best friend with that dude just to go get her satisfaction off with the other nigga off somewhere in the stairway or anything. And she came back looking for her best friend, like, damn, where the fuck they go? Where the fuck they go? So now she's looking for her best friend. She can't find her best friend. Means told y'all she wasn't in room 926. That's why the story is saying they left her in the hallway. That's why the story came up. They left her in the hallway, bro. Whatever they talk about, it, it couldn't have been on the name. You see what I'm saying? Kanika died on the name. You see what I'm saying? They just got us thinking that, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm going to put it like this. Hold on, watch this, y'all. Time between time. Dude, she done ran off this fuck. He's done. He done dipped off. So now while she's around this hotel looking for her motherfucking friend, she can't find her friend because the nigga she left her motherfucking friend with done went and fucked your friend and your friend was somewhere fighting back. And this nigga probably done accidentally choked that baby out and done choked that little girl to death. Fucked that little baby, got his rocks off, and didn't know what to do with that little girl and drug that little girl. She ain't give no keys or none of that. They already said the freezer was unoccupied. That's what they already done said. That little girl was off duty, so she didn't have no keys to the hotel. She didn't have access to the things that y'all are trying to say she had access to. That little nigga went off while they was off doing their thing. He went off and did what... That's what, that's what Kimberly... Kimberly Wild said Monifa had the keys and all that, but you listen to what she just said. She didn't have the key because she was off duty. So you basically said she worked there too. Monifa worked there, bro. Bro, I bet you Monifa worked there, there bro. Because that's in the report. Somebody, worked, somebody was there that worked at there. So look. What he did with that little girl, and that girl probably was like, uh uh, you don't want some fighting back shit. He about choked her out and took her shit, and ended up choking dude. that little baby to death, and ended up didn't know, got nervous, drugged that little girl off somewhere, probably sink that motherfucking refrigerator that was unoccupied, put her in there, and then turned it on, you feel me? So that she wouldn't stink or make a smell or something. Come on now, that little nigga turned on the fucking freezer that wasn't turned on for how long? Come on now. So while you run around here looking for your friend, this nigga done hurry up and put your friend in the freezer. Freezer, my nigga, and don't call this homie, and you not knowing because the homie done split up from you. He don't call his homie like, hey nigga, where you at, nigga? What up, nigga? Where you at? He like, oh nigga, where you at? You and Shorty done? He about telling his homie like, yeah, we done. Where you? Meet me at the door. They done met up at the car. Now these niggas gone. You come back and return to the hotel room. Oh, yeah. now, shut up. No. And the police were there. Now look, if you were paying attention to the police report. Everybody that was at that party rolled with somebody. No, I'm talking about. Everybody was at that party rolled with somebody. What killer say he rolled with somebody? What P said he rolled with somebody? What Tanaja say she rolled with somebody? 
T.Y. was the driver. You see what I'm saying? So who else will have their own vehicle? The rest of them niggas in there don't even got cars. They don't even got cars. So they can't even go nowhere, bro. So look. No, shut up. No, 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 no. Fuck all that, cause this is the truth. Now, it don't get it's hypey. Why is this? She's looking for her friend. It's already turned the fuck up at the hotel. It's turned up. Now the police done came. So the police thinking it's a party, cause it's a bunch of kids in the midst of commotion. She done run back to the hotel room now. Police there and all types of shit now. And this probably when Miss Teresa was out there and they were talking about, look on the 11th floor, it looked like a struggle, bro. It looked like a struggle. You see what I'm saying? So if you put that two to two together, you know what I'm saying? That make her story more accurate. It make her story more accurate, bro. So the police going to be up there in the pool area with Miss Teresa and them and the style. She come back in the hotel room. Y'all come on. It's time to go. Now everybody's scattering, getting up. Now the girl makes a status. She's like, girl, you don't give a fuck about your best. She's like, shut up because when I told y'all to help me look for her, one, nobody's trying to help me look for her. So meantime, in between time, y'all, this is, this, is this is at three something in the morning. This is at three something in the morning. Look, now that's going on at three something in the morning, bruh. But this ain't no September the 9th. If you erase that September the 9th out your head, what she talking about, that could have been on the 6th, on the 7th, and they needed time to do investigation because, you know, it's going to take hours and hours. It's going to really take down there 48 hours to do a inve complete investigation. If you get everybody to cooperate, you can wrap the investigation up. Y'all, this is when the police came and all that. This was at 3 something in the morning, the police came. So the girl was like, bitch, we didn't help you look for her because you came back. So, Miss Teresa would call her and tell me about check the cameras at 2.30. Now you know why she want to call and check the cameras at 2.30. For what happened? Previously, that day, bro, that was a dead giveaway. You know what I'm saying? Awesome, Joe. Like you was joking or shit. We could, we didn't know to take you serious. You took your friend up out of here, and you didn't come back with her. So everybody's wondering, like everybody knew what was going on. No, nobody knows what's going on because all they know is that that bitch came and took her friend up out of there off that bed and ran her ass up out of there, and she came and returned. Like on her in her mind, she like so and so didn't return back to the room. They're like, no, bitch. You took her off out of here, bitch. Where's she going? She's like, girl, help me look for her. And they looking at her, bitch, like, what the fuck you mean help you look for her? Girl, where the fuck is her? And you know, she, she's over eight. With Trolls and King from YouTube, we talking about the Kadiko place. Please say something to him. Say something. Hi. Okay, she gonna say, now talk, Chosen. You owe me big time for this. Okay, Irene, how you doing? I'm, I'm good. That was, that was all, right, all right, um, Irene, okay, so I believe technically, like, on the night that that was a reenactment, you know, well, I don't even know if this is on the phone, but anyway, I believe on the night that was a reenactment, and I think she actually died before that. Watch this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask you, do you have anything to do with her death? No. Not at all? Not at all. Okay, so when you, um... Why is this? Left before um, they supposedly started searching for her, right? Now watch this. Everything what Kilo Brown just said. Watch what Zach do. Watch what Zach do. And we got to get this case reopened, bro. Yeah, we left before that. Way, way before that? Not way before. 
for that, but we love you. What up? All right, is there anything you want to get out to people? I mean, to the people. I mean, I know I, know I saw a post from Onifa. I don't know if it's real. They said that you and her were going to be on the Ellen show or something like that. They called us, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. So what are y'all going to do when y'all get on there? Y'all trying to uh, clear y'all name or y'all just want to shed light on the uh, case? Or what y'all doing on the Ellen show? Clear our name. All right, because I technically don't believe y'all got nothing to do with it. Me, personally, if you go and watch my channel, I don't believe I got nothing to do with it. I believe that y'all was there. Um, well, not even you. I believe it was somebody who supposedly looked like you uh, doing a reenactment and stuff like that. But I believe the actual killers, like I said, are the mom and the sister. You know what I'm saying? Why they got everybody looking at y'all reenactment, I think the killing actually happened to the right. I don't know who it is. Who it is. I can't even tell you that. I, I'm not sure. I don't know who it's not us. I agree it's not y'all. Why is this? They can seem like it's us because they're trying to hide something. Hey, hold on. Please tell them. I won't release the footage your parents ask for safety on some serious shit. Because they think I'm holding it hostage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, parents yeah, okay. are looking out. <laughs> hey, 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 one thing too, Irene. I'm glad you're on the phone. I pulled up a video where I actually believe that they pulled in a couple of um, old images and stuff like from the six because, okay, when, when I saw you in the, in, in the lobby on one video, you had white and red shoes on, red on the tip, white on the sides, and then when I looked at the so-called person who was playing you in the reenactment, they had on all red shoes when I paused it in the Thai, uh, live video. Why the difference in shoes? I haven't seen that one. I, I haven't seen that one. What color shoes did you wear? Why is this? I had red shoes too. Were they all red or red and white? Red and white. I couldn't hear you. My shoes was red and white. Okay, because the person who I, when I found the tie rolling video where the girl had the messed up weed, I, I don't believe that was you. The weed was too jacked up. That was somebody else. But anyway. Um, they had on all red shoes, and then when I looked in the lobby, that person had on some white and red shoes, or white going up the sides and everything, with white on, red on the toe. Two, two totally different uh, pair of shoes. That's what I had on. You had on the all red with the white bottom? No, red and white shoes, not the all red. Okay, well, the person in the um, reenactment had on all red. So that, 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 that. That, that, that clearly states it or, or puts it there. Man, um, chose a king, Cole. Like I, said, I don't think so. And what do you feel about the mother having the ticket for the six in her heart? Watch this. There's some fishy shit going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't Watch do this. Don't do that. Don't bash the mother on him. We're not going to do that. We're not going to. I will hang up on both. Please don't do that. Right? Like, don't do that. Please don't do that. We're not here to bash no mother. We're not. Don't do that. All right. Don't do that. Listen, dude, I'm doing you a, a big ass favor. Do not bash the mother. Don't do not do that. She's in fucking grieving time right now. She lost her fucking daughter, dude. Don't do that. What if you lose your fucking daughter, your, uh, your sweet ass son? Why is this? Why okay? why is, why is I can say what I want, man. You on this counter. You had you told me to ask the question. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm making Irene a fucking point for you. Irene didn't have a problem with it. I'm asking Irene, not you. She didn't have a problem with it. She was answering it. Don't ask. I fucking... this, this is you. Okay, so I'm gonna just call you back, okay? This is my life you playing with right now. And he want me to release the footage, man, and I told him why I can't. No, no, no. I have no problem with answering those questions. I don't believe Irene did it. Let me help clear that girl's name while she's on the phone. Dumbass, well, this is no answers for you, you fucking fruit cake. What Let the fuck? Clear her name while she's on the phone. Dude, I. I this, this is a fucking weird. Are you there? He asked you for you. Keep listening. Here? Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, hey, one more question. I got one more question, sweetheart. One more question, Queen. I'll let you go. Know. Answer one more, and then we done. Damn, she hung up. Want me call her back? Yeah, call her back. I mean, if you want to, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I. See, so you, you, we had a good. Me and her had a good conversation. Then you jumped right in the middle, bro. You jump right down the middle. Bro, don't bash the fucking parents, bro. 
Bro, I do. This is my channel. You told me to ask the question. She didn't have no problem with it. Bro, but it's your channel, but it's, it's partially my channel. I brought the most subscribers you ever had in your life. Don't ever do that to me, bro. Bro, we, bro, you know, bro, no, you didn't. Oh, you, okay, okay, yeah. Yes, okay, you did. yes, you did. You did. Okay, Zach, you did. Okay, now let's call her back. Let's call her back, bro. And what else? Tell me what. Tell me something else. Tell me I'm the best that ever did this interview and shit. Let me know. No. What? No. Bro, you a fucking Robocop, dude. Stop acting like an asshole, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Give us the cookie, bro. That's crazy you just said that. You want to know why? That's crazy you just said that. Look, I'm going to show you something. That's why Chosen King said, give us the cookie. We already know what the cookie mean. Look, but watch this. Zach's so dumb. And after this video, I ain't got no more respect for Zach, bro. He did it. Him and his niggas now. You know what I'm talking about? Because watch this. How Chosen King finna light him up. Something. I'm, I'm blocking the number out. Do you see that chosen? Wait, let me put the hell. Do you see that? I can't see, bro. Bring it to the, the right or the left. I can't see nothing. You see that? Did you just say cookie? Look what that is. Hold it up. Hold it up. I can't see it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See? You see what I'm saying? You uh, see how everything that was... is? Man, that's crazy, in it? That's crazy. Dude, I don't know what's wrong with you, dude, but you got... You, I want to call one dude. I want to call one more person for you, bro. But I promise to God, you can't say nothing crazy, okay? And do you swear on everything that right. there was Irene was just talking to? Listen, be quiet. Seriously, be quiet. This is be quiet. Please answer, because this gonna take the cake. Answer. Please answer. We ask her whatever you want. You can trust him. He ain't on no police shit. You know what I'm saying? Is you willing to talk to him? No. He ain't, he ain't on no interview and shit. He just want to talk to you about some shit that happened that night. No. He he not like the news reporter. He also like, you know, I'm going to call you early in the morning for the bullshit. And if you hungry, want me to bring some breakfast? You want some breakfast? Uh, Which one? How did you tie in with everything, bro? No, no, that, that, that's my homie. He on FaceTime. But anyhow, yeah. you want to talk? Huh? I said, who is this and how did she tie in with the Kanika case? It seemed like you're calling up your women and having them. <laughs> Yo, you said, you said you got women, right? Okay, Zach, you got women. Don't be calling your women on here and having them pretending like they're people or pieces in this case, bro. We don't wanna we don't wanna find out how many women you got. That's not why we're here. I'm a passionate person behind this case, bro. Don't play with our intellect like that, man. Don't do that, man. Bruh, 
This man called and acting like they were Irene on the phone, bro. And that ain't even Irene on the phone. Man chose a king cold. Then look, he knew the girl who he was talking to. He he was like, yeah, give me the cookie. And he was like, whoa, it's funny that you said that. Because cause he said that was Irene. And then turned around and called another female with a totally different voice. Tell me, yeah, I got a dude over here want to do some mini. Bruh. You see that? And watch what Zach finna do. What is wrong with you, dude? I'm doing shit you never had. And you bashing me? Watch this. And hung look. And hung the phone up. And he hung the phone up. Now, why? Are you gonna bash me? Watch this. And hung the phone up. So you mean to tell me he had to have females that he know perpetrate like people at the park? Come on, man. Come on, gang. That's the same thing Kimberly Wild described. That's the same thing with uh uh Kilo Brown described. Who go to the other Kilo Brown page? I mean uh the Kimberly Wild page. Now, who go the other one? You out of town and don't know no mama T a part of their life too. They all lives. She look she wasn't there all night. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. She look she wasn't there that night. All I'm going to say. You keep saying out of town, this your favorite word. You don't know who I am. You just seen my profile and you know I rep for Kanika. That's about it. But you can assure I'm an out of town if you want to. That's cool. What state you from? Because it wasn't an out of town. It would happen to that. Everybody in Chicago know what went down. Know some Neek the Queen. She wasn't no queen. Y'all call her a queen. So this this look like some King Robber do. This song with King Robber do, bruh. Same thing with Jess 33 King said. Look, all that narrative was correct, but it didn't happen on the night. It had to happen before the night, bro. You can't commit a murder and do a reenactment at the same time. You see what I'm saying? Because I remember when King Rob was saying Scrape Drop was going around making female pages and posing as females. So look, mama didn't have the money at the time until that shit went down. She protested to threaten the hotel to give her ass some money. The hotel, social media, everywhere. Mama T was smart though. Bitch was scared to get her brains popped. So she came up with a master plan. Got the public involved, people feeling sorry for the whole and donated money and shit. The hotel gave her money too. And that's in the court paper. I already told you 
You play with niggas, they play you right back. Only reason why Mama T ain't dead now is cause she made that shit go public and got money and paid niggas off. Crying, talking about she didn't want to die and she gonna get all them they money. Bruh. So it sound like what, what Jess 33 King was talking about, that Kanika cousin got locked up and Kanika could have witnessed the murder that her cousin done did. Because cause everybody turned against her, right? The hotel, social media, everywhere. She know the people that work there. Like I said, they all innocent and guilty at the same time. They all work together selling dope and pussy. You really think the hotel dumb enough to put a dead body in the freezer knowing they going to get caught? Because Lou with Friends K said who made them put her in the freezer. Friends K told y'all who put her in the freezer. And that's when they started deleting footage. But save the security guard locking the freezer. Look. The hotel didn't do shit. They would get, they wouldn't get the money. Motel set her up and she knew them nigga wanted blood. She made sure she got drugged, left her for dead. Somebody had to die that night. Cause nigga was one who deserved it. She should have never messed with nigga money. If she died, all them probably would. Cause them niggas not to play. I need to find my Larry John. We're a community of over 22,000 doctors. We practiced at all top. Hey, it's your boy Straight Drive. I got time, you already know. Well, guess what? Great. Yeah. I see you. Oh, you big head on the road. Great news, great news, great news, great news, great news, great news. She did walk in the freezer. Your time block all of you. That's why he said security, security, security got bloods on his hand too. He talking about the sister beverage manager, aka the security that locked her in the freezer. Not France Cave. He ain't even talking about France Cave. Look. First white. This is about what is right. I got time, got time, got time, got time, got time. Now the ten straight drop is right. Mike Larry with the strike. Right. So the king ain't right. T Knight wanna fight. Man in the face might be the only one right. Was it murder or mystery? Was she five nine five six? Was she 130 or 150? Was she a drop? It's a mystery. Was she 19 or 21? Was it a GD or BD? Ray Ray Irene Monifa. Haitian Maya. Chicago Police. Crown Plaza. Sorry, Teresa, 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 Teresa. I'm sorry.
Now y'all see that? Now look, watch this. His story match up with everybody. So as y'all can see, I'm not gonna show y'all no name. Let me hold on. Word for word. Word for word. Word for word, man. Although it took place, this was somebody that took place, man. Kanika was concerned about who these people was, who these guys was, following her. It said, um. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm, I'm not gonna read it word for word, but I'm gonna break it down to what it was said. It was, um, she said that her friend, her friend, y'all know who name it is, her friend and her was talking to these two guys. One had on blue and one had a gray sweater on it, had guests on the front of it. And they went with these guys and, um, Kaniki was saying she was worried. She didn't want to be there. She was worried. She wanted to go. So they was trying to leave. They was trying to leave to go home. And this is what was told to me, y'all. They was trying to leave to go home. And the girl and the guy told her friend, get your ass on. Go on somewhere. Told her friend to go on somewhere. And right. so she started continuing on to walk. She started walking back. The hotel, the hotel, and dude kept on following, trying to have sex with her. This is what was told to me. And um, he kept following and following her and following her. And next thing you know, they said, man, he just jumped out. He just jumped out, grabbed her, and he choked her out. He didn't mean to, he didn't mean to choke her out bad. He choked her out. And um, he passed away. She passed away. And he panicked, and he started carrying her. He put her on the shoulder, and he carried her. And he met the and he met up with the other friends. He carried her, and they all took her to the damn freezer, man. What? That's the same friends case told me. They all took her to the freezer. This when they took her from the pool area, bro. That's who gonna be on the V loop when they all put her in the freezer. You can't leave it open, right? So you gonna have to have the security to lock it. No, and the reason why, the reason why that the, the, and the hotel know what's up. And that police department, they know what's happening, man. I ain't worried about nobody saying shit about what I'm saying on here because I know my people, I know who I'm with. So somebody keep trying to cut off my life. So keep hearing like some, I keep hearing like some damn Transformers talking. Right, right. Some, um, uh, I'm gonna read this to you, man. So whoever, whoever was at the, whoever they, whoever this is, these guys know. I guess they was doing this on a regular, man. I guess they good got ties in with whoever this guy is at this hotel, and uh, that's why the, that's the reason why the damn tapes is, is edited. Mm. Now check this out. Now this makes sense. Why it really will be a cover up, cub. Zach TV got police clout. Zach in cahoots with Chicago police because they, because you know, Zach do things with the police to give back to the community. I remember when Zach said, yeah, I'm going to get every, he was like, yeah, I know a couple of people on law enforcement. And you know what I'm saying? He was like, I know some real powerful people that's in law enforcement. So I'm going to try to get them to reopen the case. I remember when he said that, bro. So how is Lewis Chamberlain telling the same thing Keela Brown said, Franz K said, Kimberly Wiles, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's story match up. The only difference it is, it's a video. It's this. Miss Teresa sent the video. That could have been one of her reasons to just get 
Drunk as a fish. She want being honest with us, bruh. You see what I'm saying? Mitch Reese need to say something, bruh. Right now. Because at this point. At this point, bruh. Why would you. Didn't tell nobody about. I called the hotel at 2.30. You know what I'm saying? Why you ain't tell us the time when you really arrived? Why you always got to put allegedly when you telling the truth? Why would Liver Nova would it be acting like she talking to Kanika? That's probably why she was smiling like that, taking a picture with Zach with that big fake ass smile. That's the reason why those police even said that shit, that they, the news said that, that the police edited the fucking video. They, 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 they that's did it. So she's being carried through the hallway. She's being carried. She ain't walking. That's not her in the video. She's being carried. And then y'all say the same thing. That's not Kanika in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? That's not Kanika on that footage. So check this out. That's why they exposed Zach TV in the restaurant with Kanika, bruh. Y'all remember, you know what I'm saying? That picture, they were saying there was Zach in the restaurant with Kanika. They went out to a restaurant or something. That could have been Zach, bruh. I couldn't even get a good look at the face because, you know, the camera quality just ain't all good, but you know what I'm saying? But these people saying it was Zach, they even pointed a dude look like Zach on the footage. Same height, same walk and everything. So, everything what King Rob said about Miss Teresa I believe every last little bit of it. I believe it, bro. Hold on. This, this is what they're talking about. We got this. Get the fuck out of here. We got this. All right? Let that bullshit go that you got on your mind. Go find something else to play with. We got this over here. Could it What's going on out here? Let me give y'all an answer to that question. You feel me? And the key to that question is chosen king. That's why they mad at Chosen King, bro. You know, a lot of y'all probably like, damn, what Chosen doing? You know what I'm saying? So look, when Chosen King was telling everybody the truth, the YouTuber were getting mad and then they're going to start beef. Start beef. Get the people routed off like he the real shovel gang. Like, you know what I'm talking about? He might ain't even never caught a body in his life. That's why King, uh, that's why Scrape Drop was like, yeah, T Knight want to fight. Mike Levin with a strike. Mike Levin was getting strike, bruh. Because the people he was putting on this platform, because if you look at Mike Larry, man, he wasn't nothing but a bunch of smart, intelligent people on his live talking real life events, bro. But when the people listen to these YouTubers, man, they got you believing in goddamn shadow men's and, and hands and foots. Chosen somewhere being a grown man, you know what I'm saying? Now, see, the difference between me and y'all, 
you niggas is followers. All of you niggas. Because truth be told, you niggas is following Chosen King formula. Y'all don't get it? Who y'all think started all that panel shit and all this, you know what I'm saying? All these interviews and shit, interviewing different people, asking them questions and shit. Chosen King started that, right? I'm not going to say other people wasn't doing it, but, you know, Chosen King was notorious for holding interviews and holding panels and shit. Y'all know that, right? And y'all know why. You see what I'm saying? Now y'all know why. Right? Know what I'm saying? And another thing, everybody feeling right. It's people around here feeling cocky and shit because they got a flag team, but um, y'all took that from Chosen King too. Chosen King, the one that started that flag and shit. He ain't doing it right now, you know what I'm saying? He just, you know what I'm saying? It's a little something he was going through, but you know, one thing I can say is Chosen King, he know he learned from things, you know what I'm saying? He know how to grow. He don't just stay in one spot like you niggas. All you niggas. You niggas is followers. Y'all got y'all style from Chosen King. Y'all don't get it? All this flagging, all these panels. Y'all took that from Chosen King. See, that's why I stayed in my own lane, did my own thing. Never followed no goddamn body. See, Chosen King got more sense than all you niggas. See, why you niggas run around with this bullshit, he over there laughing at y'all ass. But at the same time, he been a grown man about it. Now, that's one thing I can say. Me, Chosen King, we never saw eye to eye until we had a common enemy. Me and Marco, we never really saw eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? He basically telling y'all that Marco, they all know we each other. Stand up, dude. Then this adversary over there, because he called a nigga out for a fade like a grown man, and he didn't accept that challenge. So big ups to you, Marco. You feel me? I'm going to need you to stay away from them goddamn rainbow parades, though. You feel me? Call him Marco Gay. Because, you know what I'm saying, he, he glad that Marco didn't take the challenge because Chosen King was going to light his ass up, bro. So, look. Now y'all understand the whole conversation, what he talking about. Now y'all see what he really mad about. See, that's where things went wrong. Y'all know Chosen King had a lot of information, you feel me? And he had a lot of ears listening to him, mostly from Chicago, from the Midwest area. You feel me? And I know somewhere down the line, y'all had a little, a little family fight, you know what I'm saying? It was a struggle for power. I already know what it was. Y'all wanted more views than Chosen. Y'all seen how big Chosen was blowing up. Chosen had like 25 goddamn channels and subs on all of them. That's why y'all took Chosen now. Y'all was jealous of Chosen King, bro. Yes. Tell the truth, goddammit. Me and Chosen King ain't the best of friends, but I tell it like it is. Y'all niggas jealous. Y'all jealous hearted. That's why y'all turned on Chosen King. Y'all seen that man was bigger than all y'all put together. So y'all took him down so y'all can take his place. I get it now. Chosen King started that, that outreach shit too. And still to this day, Chosen King doing outreaches for what you niggas doing. Still trying to build a goddamn YouTube career off of some damn clout and done fucked up a whole lot of lives. 
And I'm sorry, folks, but some shit that done came out some of these niggas' mouth is just unforgivable. You can't forgive these niggas for some of this shit they done said and did. Unforgivable. Cannot be forgiven. Forever. My chosen king, I know you over there doing your little outreach, over there doing your little, you know what I'm saying, your little communion and your community, your service and the, you know what I'm saying, taking care of the people and doing God's will. To cover it up. The hotel go. Look, so after careful observation, right? I came to the conclusion that I knew this motherfucking girl. I knew Kanika Jenkins or whatever y'all calling her. My 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 story has always been that she didn't die. I'm not believing that. You know what I'm saying? You know. I, I, I say somebody did, but it wasn't her. So now I've come to the conclusion that man, King Rob. I mean, every time I do my research on something, it always come back to some King Rob done said, man. And King Rob is really the bad guy in this case. But I'm I'm just not thinking, man. Like, I don't give him too much, I don't be giving him too much credit, but it's a couple of things that I done researched that done led me to think, man, he... He really, he really be up on what the fuck he talking about. Man, are you, are y'all serious? He, man, you seriously telling me that whatever, whatever this girl done, she owes somebody some money. Whatever Kanika, whatever y'all want to call her, whatever she did, she owes somebody some money. You see that? Now look, I just showed y'all a video that the dude was talking about how Miss Teresa taking the money for a payout. And I'm like, man, that's how King Rob would talk, bro. You see what I'm saying? Right. And so I was just, I was just thinking, I was just saying like, man, so, so Kanika, this girl, Teresa Martin, a daughter, whatever. Man, why, why am I feeling like she took part in this killing of this other girl? These dudes said they want their money, right? Just, just, just fuck with me. Just, just think about what I'm saying. These dudes said they want their money. Whoever these dudes is, you feel me? Whoever these dudes is, and they, they got the finger pointed at the vice lords or whatever. But these dudes said they want their money. You feel me? They ain't bullshitting. They want their money, right? So the mom or whoever the fuck comes up with this, elect, her and her friends, her, her, her friends' friends, come up with this elaborate scheme to get this girl down here that look just like Kanika, right? The and then look, <clears throat> to put the icing on the cake, they had the family member playing Kanika in the hallway. That put Miss Teresa even in more hot water, bro. Cause now you got family member and Libra Nor. Come on, bro. You see what I'm saying? Cause that's the first thing the police said what they told Miss Teresa. And and this is what Miss Teresa said at her own mouth. Yeah, the police came to me and said they found Kanika in the freezer and it don't look like a sexual assault happened. 
And then she played dumb like, well, what is it? What does sexual assault look like? You know what I'm saying? Bro, this is crazy to me. This is crazy. I want to speak out in the Facebook page. Look, watch this. Man, Kanika dead and gone. You know what I'm talking about? Kanika dead and gone. I was there. Right? It's hard on G. You right. I was at the party. I didn't want to say revealing my identity at the party. Two guys showed up, brought weed. Kanika went down to go get it. When she came back, she said she brought another nigga with him and he was feeling and she texted Buddy. You see this shit? That's the same thing. What Lewis Chamberlain just said on Mike Larry video. You see what I'm saying? Everybody can't completely come up with a lie and all their stories match up. So boom. She went to down to go get it. When she came back, she said he brought another nigga with him that she was feeling. And she was about to text him. About 30 minutes later, he came to the room, neat, neat smoking and drinking a lot while she was there. And Kanika had weed in her system. The toxicology report said Kanika had cannabis, marijuana in her system. But only had one cup. She was really turning up. Before the party, she was mad talking about moving Moving out with somebody. Moving out somebody apartment. Only thing I know, she staying with her mama, right? So Kanik was planning on moving. So she was happy enjoying herself. He left and she said she didn't feel good. And she just laid across the bed. After a while, she got up with two people and they left. After that, I'm going to say about 30 minutes later, they came back and say she was missing. Some people started looking for her. Then two girls starting to say it was over and everybody needed to leave. Mostly everybody left. Now, peep the game. Man, I read through all of this. Man, I, I could, I'm reading I'm reading through all this, bro. I want to trust somebody. I really don't want to talk, but I know I can't. Things is not even alone. But I will tell you, somebody know what exactly happened. It makes me feel so bad. Some police had talked to my friend at school after, after this had happened. So the police talked to some kids at a school, bruh. You see what I'm saying? I was just so shook up.
happened at the party. Some of those videos were pre-recorded. I think because what was going on in the video that happened at the party that she was in. This the Kimberly Wild. Remember, I told y'all that you know what I'm saying she was in another room and she left before everything happened. But when Irene went live with the pre-recorded video, she didn't know that at the time. She thinking that's going on in room 926. There were two parties. It did not. I didn't feel safe. I just want someone to talk to. And not to be judged. I feel like crying a lot because someone died. And now everybody fighting instead of helping. Look who doing the fighting in Mitch Teresa family. Look who doing the fighting when it come to YouTubers, bro. So much happened for me that night. I did drugs for the first time. I was so uncomfortable. I was so uncomfortable, but I tried to at least have fun. People at the party started saying somebody got robbed outside. Now, think about this. Outside, think about the letter that was given to me by Friends K and was stating what was going on in the parking lot. Miss Teresa got some knowledge about the parking lot because she said what happened to her baby and how Kanika get, made it into the parking lot. It's a lot of things we don't forget about, bro. Look, that was before the girl saying she was missing. And no, and, 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 and some people were saying they was high and don't got time for this. Now, think about this going to look, think about this. You got the reenactment. Nobody didn't see Kanika, but they think Kanika at the party. They might be thinking Kanika at another party. So you got these people in room 926 pottering. Going in different rooms, bro. And kick everybody out at the party. And once they kick everybody at the party, these folks look. When Irene went live, these people looking at the video like, damn, I was just at the party. What they doing in that job? The niggas that were there was getting mad because they just want to drink. Look. They were getting mad because they just want to drink. They said something. Damn, I can't. They said some want to take a drink. Said some of the girls was killing they vibes. Pay y'all, come on, gang. Let's get the thumbs up, gang. Let's let's put this in the Let's put this in the algorithm, gang. You know what I'm talking about? Let's let's make this video hit that algorithm hard and strong. Now look. And the party was supposed to be $2 at the door. But when we got there, nobody won collecting money. I'm just telling you what happened. This is what I saw with my own eyes, not what I heard. So watch this. I'm not even going now. I just can't. I'm just too stressed.
is there another other nice people in this page that I can also talk to that you know somebody that won't bash me or judge me? Moniva is the one that Neat was with. And Bree Bree came, came back right after everything that happened. Irene told everyone that the party was over with. So Irene knew what she was doing when she was kicking everybody out the party, bro. Because that's what she needed them for there for. Y'all come to the party. They were just to show people that were showing up to her party on the footage. And then when it's time for Kaniga to come up missing the narrative they gave, that's why they kicked everybody out at the party. All right, but they not blaming her because she was the last one with her. They blaming her because she was grimy. She stole from Kanika. Uh, she stole from Kanika house before. She probably did for real. This is just what I heard through people talking. She stole money from her before the night. We was at the party when she first got there. She had a Michael Cord case on her phone and people seen Monifa with it after after Kanika passed. She even told J Rock that Kanika gave it to her, but how? I don't even know. Then I found out who J Rock was. Then I found out who J Rock was, right? The shoes Monifa had on, man, they ain't even show that part, right? All right. She had on a jean crop jacket. Really, I don't know if there is footage of her leaving and coming back. See that? So they probably do got Kanika walking to the car and walking back in the hotel. So that could have been when, when, when she talk about when Kanika went and got the bud, that's probably when they went and got the weed from him. Remember when they showed them walking in the parking lot, that could have been when she walked in the parking lot to go get the bud. And not when she arrived there. I don't know. I'm just saying, cause that's the only time I seen Kanika in the parking lot. All right. We never got to see any footage of anything. Once everybody found out what happened to Kanika, mama didn't really want nobody around. Mr. Reason didn't want nobody around. Now think about what Zach doing, what Zach putting out and think about Mr. Teresa all on Facebook. Making the Kanika Jenkin page. Right? She thought everybody was lying. And yes, that's neat in the freezer. I promise you that we we even made we even made up and let's they even met up and let balloons go for her. Her mama was there. Her brother jumped in. He support. He having something tonight for Kanika. The guy name is Puff. He is skinny. And he looked like P. Diddy a little bit. But he's young. 
What exactly are you going to do with everything I'm saying? I'm just afraid this will get back somehow. She don't want to get exposed, bro. I have been thinking going to the police. Are you, when are you going to tell them to check their folder? And here go the photos, bro. Kaniga in the bag. This is on Rosemont website. This was on Rosemont website, bruh. And Mitch Reese told everybody that's not Kanika in that trash bag. Oh my God. Come on, man. I remember when I pulled that bag, I'm like, bruh, it's a body in that bag, bruh. Mitch Reese said, no, it ain't. But that's the same bag that was uh, that was in the photos. Then they got another photo of Kanika in a body bag laid up against the wall. And I'm like, where this part? Who is it? There it go right there. Who go the other ones? And then Miss Arisa trying to tell y'all, yeah, what's that black thingy stuff that was in the freeze? It looked like a trash bag or some burnt plastic or something. That lady knew how that bag got in there. Monifa and her gay friend know what happened. It's a lot of people that was messing with them gay guys. They was feeling him. Now I want to know why Marco saying, now I see why T Knight called Marco, man. We need to keep you away from them rainbows. No, I'm talking about. I always said Marco gay, the way he talked, the way he dressed, he one of them old ass men that love little boys, bro. Cause that's all he talk about, Jalen Ford, Jalen Ford. You talk about Jalen Ford so much, I'm like, man, you the only one that brought up Jalen Ford. You know what I'm saying? How you know? How you even you know anything about a, a a gay person? I can't tell you much nothing about a gay person if I didn't raised up with them. You see what I'm saying? So look. A lot of people were feeling the gay boy. That's when she finna talk about in room, room 901. That's what she said they were running in and out, messing with them dude. I swear, on Deshaun Gray, short and near, I miss my little bumblebee. I wish I never forget the last time I saw that smile, shorty. Our last controversy was us planning our trip to California was finna dip on Mon on Nifa. Come on, bro. So you remember telling me, Monifa, that was your last uh conversation with Kanika talking about, yeah, girl, you know what I'm talking about. Girl, we need to go to California. I wanna know why she mentioned California. We know how California and Las Vegas is big to this case. Me used to always call me mug bug. See, that what you look like. I call you that too. You know what I'm saying? I stay strapped on folk them. You can ask all the bitches. I don't have that type of hesitation. She will stay, bro. They shall not. I will make sure to say 
him out. He lied. I don't think that's him because the gay guy is Monifa's friend. Yes, that is true. They was doing it for the money. The guy was bringing pills for Irene. Monifa told people that Kanika got drunk and fell out. But there, but that way before she was missing. They were way before she was missing. So that means look, if y'all peeping out the game. So Monifa role was to bust up in Irene room and say Kanika missing. Cause her and Kanika was at another room. Bruh. That was the move. While everybody was in room 926, Monifa then was in and out that room. So when Monifa started going back to Irene's room, Kanika missing. And Irene like, what you mean she missing? Cause they already had that plan. Right? But at the people at the party, they like, they don't want to hear none of this shit because they ain't got time. Oh, so that's what it was. So she was popping back up at the reenactment. And that's why Shiloh, that's why Shiloh was talking in Irene video talking about she was explaining how Monifa was telling her what happened to Kanika and I'm like first of all why would she be telling you what happened to Kanika if they was all in the same room you see what I'm saying why would you why would you ask how many cups she had and she's standing there with you so now that make perfectly sense to me now it were multiple rooms, bro. So they had that. So that's why they. That's why they rented room nine twenty six just for that person, just for that purpose, because a crime was already committed, bro. A crime was already committed, and they needed people to come there desperately on the night to make it even look like a party. Monifa, Irene, Neek, Bree, Bree, and Ariel. Who are they? Kept going outside. They met up out like three times. Okay, watch this. I think we talking about two different Zacks. I'm talking about the Zack at the party. They call him Z Stoner. He smoke a lot. Man, I just wish, man, I just wish she could have edited this more better than this. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah, that's him. I don't really know him. That's Irene and Moni for people, bruh. Man, 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 man. We on it now.
this all I want to show the people. She said Zach was there, bro. So she was talking about Zach and them the whole time. And she said, man, look, she don't even really know him like that. She probably don't even know, look. She probably don't even know Zach was a, a, uh, 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 she probably, she probably didn't even, she probably heard of Zach, but then just, you know, I'm, I don't know, bro. From the party and B block is in this group. And they becoming friends with the people in the group. These people really don't even want the hell. I see why that lady I see why she feel the way she feel, bro. Cause just imagine that everything that she saw. That night, and then when she go to tell somebody going in the Facebook group, she seeing these people, bro. She seeing these people create Facebook group and everybody in those group listening to these people. That lady come possibly make this up. She already told you what them dude was doing. And then she was like, she was feeling one of the guys. And I remember everybody said, watch this. Everybody said, King, uh, uh, Zach. Kanika liked the Zach. But everybody did say this. Rob always wanted Kanika, and Kanika wasn't feeling Rob. So if Zach popping up in that jump with Rob, come on now. What you think finna happen? Look who Zach friends with. Look at the people he hang around with, bro. Now I know these niggas is some killers and some shooters and some dope boys. But them niggas some rapists, bro. Chicago got a higher number when they come to these come to these crimes. And the bad part about it, it happens so frequently, and they filming this. It's like it's it's like it ain't even nothing wrong with that in Chicago no more. Cause they see it too much, bro. I mean, it go on, and look. These things be happening. So often that it turned Andrew Holmes out to be one. Welcome to Power Forward, Memphis edition. Where we celebrate heart, hustle, and poops on the low. And Wentworth, where area central detectives are working this case. My. Erica, Chicago police found the girl around 7.45 this morning after being alerted by a concerned citizen. As the girl recovers, Chicago police are looking for those who assaulted her. To me, it was pure hell. Crisis responder Andrew Holmes is talking about a copy of a Facebook Live video which shows what appears to be the sexual assault of a 15-year-old girl by multiple young men. Dozens of people watched the attack as it happened, but Chicago police say no one reported it. And if you see the video and you see how disturbing it was, but Andrew Hall ended up with the video and took it to the police and talking about somebody gave it to him. Come on, I don't believe that shit. I don't believe that, bruh. Ain't no telling how many videos Andrew Hall sings a crime and it just, and something clicked in his head and it just took over and he like, man, I need to, the way he done did the way he done got away with this, I could do it even better. Man, they saying they they got more people coming forth on Andrew Hone, bro. And and these women they work with the government. So he basically drugging his females employees on business trips.
it was. Then you should have picked up the phone and called the Chicago Police Department. Holmes got the video from a concerned community member and gave it to Chicago police. Yeah, right. I did uh, see the young lady uh, being pulled toward the bed and she pushed back and she didn't want to go on the bed. This morning, Chicago police say the girl was found safe near 13th and Independence, a short distance from where she was last seen Sunday afternoon in the 1400 block of South Avers. She was reunited with her family. The main concern was her health and to get her to a hospital. As the girl recovers, Chicago police are looking for her alleged attackers. Holmes has this message for them. If you know you was in that room, don't wait until you get a knock on your door or the detectives want to talk to you. Just simply come down here. If you're a minor, come down here with your parents, talk to the detectives, clear your name. As for the girl, he has another message. And I want that young lady to know she's still a queen. She got a life ahead of her. But watch this. Did y'all know about this? Andrew Hall, granddaughter. Black puppy coat, black pants, black ski mask, a mask, walking through your alleys, walking your streets, or just getting out of the car. Take the time from 2.15 to 3.15 yesterday. Look at your cameras. You can send that information to ATC640 at chicagopolice.org. I'm going to say it again. ATC640 at chicagopolice.org. You can send that information to the Chicago Police Department. Now I'll take it on another person note. Look at him. This was somebody's baby. That's what stated Melissa Lives Matter. All the technology that's up here, all the stores that's around here, you have surveillance footage. Don't wait until your store is burglarized and then all of a sudden it's working. Give that information, give that footage over to the Chicago Police Department. I don't want to hear nothing about pointing the finger at Chicago Ch Police Department if we're not doing our jobs out here on the streets, giving them the information, and they're taking that information and making arrests and bringing this individual to justice. Then if they're not at the courthouse and they put and they take it to the courthouse or take it to the state's attorney's office and they're putting these cases back out here, we got a major problem. We got a big problem because it don't take a rocket scientist to get all the information that they have to get. If this baby lives matter, let's make this baby lives matter. Give that information over to the detectives that are working this street. Now you come along here, you walk, you ride, you do whatever you had to do. You discharge that weapon. You slept on a pillow last night. You slept on somebody's pillow, somebody's bed, while this baby's laying on a steel, steel table in the medical examiner's office. You got your brain, but you come here as a punk and you lay this little girl's brain and matter out here on the streets. It's time for justice. It's time to bring you to justice. And I'm asking each and everybody, hear from my heart, hear from everybody's heart out here, you shot this little girl's brains out. Now it's time to bring you to justice. It's time for you to come out from where you're hiding at. You come out here with a gun. Whatever gun you had, you discharge that weapon on a little eight-year-old girl. I don't care who your target was. You targeted that little girl. Because if you weren't targeting that little girl, she'll be still here living today. And it ain't everybody that's targeting people. What you targeting them for? Because when you miss, you hit our babies. No matter what race, creed, and color they are, there are children here in Chicago, across the United States. I wish you had that same energy when you took your old land to Las Vegas. With a pocket full of knockout doses. You know what I'm talking about? Drugging your co-workers up. Toting them in your hotel room. Undressing them. And filming their private parts. And showing it to people. You worse than these gangs out here, bruh. Ain't no telling how many victims you done drug and scared to come for and snitch on you because you got so much power when it comes to the police and the feds. I bet Lil Quee Quee want to say something. And she get down. You know what I'm talking about. But watch this. Did y'all know this about Andrew Hall's granddaughter?
We are following some breaking news right now. Family members of an 11-year-old girl who was shot on Saturday say that she has died. Community activist Andrew Holmes saying his niece, Takaya Holmes, is now being kept on life support to protect her organs for donations. It's very, very... You see that? Man, what if that was a setup for them to get that girl organs, bro? Look. We are following some breaking news right now. Family members of an 11-year-old girl who was shot on Saturday say that she has died. Community activist Andrew Holmes saying his niece, Takaya Holmes, is now being kept on life support to protect her organs for donations. Some very, very sad news to report. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lionel Moyes. I'm Marion Kennedy. And the young girl was hit by a stray bullet while sitting in a van in Parkway Gardens. Police do not have a suspect in custody. A reward to catch her killer has been increased to $3,000. So why his daughter was in Parkway Garden? Y'all know what Parkway Garden is in Chicago? Do y'all know them some famous projects, right? What is she doing there anyway? Then immediately you put her on life support, just preserve her organs, bro. Come on, man. Another girl shot in the head on Saturday remains on life support and in very critical condition. 12-year-old Kanara Gentry Bowers was shot while playing basketball in a school playground in West Englewood in an apparent drive-by shooting. Police do not have any suspects in either case. We are following some breaking news right now. Family members of an 11-year-old girl who was shot on Saturday say that she has died. Community activist Andrew Holmes saying his niece, Takaya Holmes, is now being kept on life support to protect her organs for donations. Some very, very sad news to report. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lionel Moyes. I'm Marion Kennedy. And the young girl was hit by a stray bullet while sitting in a van in Parkway Gardens. Police do not have a suspect in custody. A reward to catch her killer has been increased to $3,000. Another girl shot in the head on Saturday remains on life support and in very critical condition. Who got another family member? Running low? From break room supplies to cleaning products and more, when you need... You took my firstborn. You took my baby. How your family feel? That was my firstborn. My my firstborn. More than nine he months even after cry on me. Out, a father revisits the scene of his daughter's murder. The father, no stranger to crime scenes. Andrew Holmes, well-known Chicago anti-violence activist and a victim's advocate for the Chicago Police Department. But his life turned upside down around nine months ago when he got a call that his daughter had been shot and killed right here in Indianapolis. And just yesterday, a break in the case. Two arrested for her murder. Now he's going back to the crime scene with Call 6 Investigates Paris Lubell with memories and a message for Indianapolis. Got a clear vision of where everything was, where every officer was, where every... Look at the headline. Murder victim father returned to crime scene. I don't even like that title. Now your, your niece died, your daughter died. Then you got another, then you got another, uh, family member. Developing now a Chicago woman hit and severely injured by a driver that didn't stop. Dalton trustee Andrew Holmes says this morning his sister, Cassandra, was walking when a white pickup truck hit her in a crosswalk at 74th and damn. Holmes says she has a severe leg injury. As the suspect drove off, Good Samaritans took this picture of the truck. I'm going to seek and find this individual, you know, regardless. We have a lot of hit and runs in the city of Chicago, and I do the same thing. I circulate the flyers for them, too, and try to seek and find the individual that do, do a hit and run, whether it's my relative or not. His sister will now have to have surgery. We've reached out to Chicago police, but haven't heard back. He probably tried to kill her ass. Now look at this one. Activist Andrew Holmes is known for his work as a victim's advocate, but today he found himself as a crime fighter, helping police make an arrest in a hit and run crash. It happened this <laughs> afternoon on I-290 near Austin Boulevard. Man. One car hit another while on the expressway and drove off. 
He then got off the expressway and hit two more vehicles. That's when Holmes spotted him. I went back behind him, started jogging. He never knew I was jogging. He went 12 blocks. He went past the hospital, two blocks past the hospital. So I'm still behind him. Stop lying, Andrew Holmes. You know you was out there drunk driving and shit, knocking folks off the road. You know what I'm saying? Then you called the law to my help me cover this up right quick. Come on, Andrew Holmes. He he and Travis, he see a drunk driver, so he took off after the drunk driver. Man, I'm scared of Andrew home because you, man, this, look. You might go in the Dalton, Illinois and don't know how many jobs he got. You might go, look, you already know he a trustee. He work in the mayor's office. You know he working at the police department. You know he working for the FBI too. Then when you go to Popeye Chicken, he frying your six piece. You know what I'm talking about? Look, you go to the grocery store, he the cashier and shit. You got a flat tie, you pulling at the mechanic shop. To my need a plug. And he come out there, mother. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, I, I found the problem. You just need a plug. Give me 750 You know what I'm talking about? He even probably be one of those scammers call your phone be talking about, hey, did you check out our new Medicare plan for today? You've been, you've been selected for our new power pills. I cannot do this shit with Andrew Hong. I don't even go through this much shit. I don't see this much shit go on every day. Every day is something new. What he gonna do next? Run in the burden, a burning building and rescue eight, nine foster kids out of a burning building. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, God damn, Andrew Holmes. Now you, you, you want the clout. Now I see you love that goddamn camera. Yeah, they got one news article. He was jogging and shit. He jogging and found the bomb. And then, then the look, he done, look, look, he tried to go blow down downtown. You know, he tried to go down. He tried to blow down the police department downtown, the big headquarter bill. Put a bomb on that, John. Since the bomb didn't detonate, now he want to call the FBI talking about he got a tip. It's a bomb in the building. Because <laughs> he fucked up and wired, and wired the bomb wrong and shit. You know what I'm talking about? That what type of nigga he is, bro. Come on, man. If this man got a bankroll and dressed like this, here, man, that man a crook. He ain't got no mustache to go with them. He ain't got no mustache or beard to go with the haircut. I mean, damn, no swag at all. I mean, at least grow a mustache, uh, uh, some handlebars or something. I bet he got more hair on his chest and on top of his damn lip. God damn, bro. Man, you could be at the house watching some Andrew Holmes update and order you a, and order you uh Uber's eat. And you get a knock at your door. Yeah, anybody order three piece wings? Andrew, that's you? Oh yeah, that's me, you know what I'm talking about. Damn, you I ain't know you was the Uber driver, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know, it kinda slow, you know what I'm saying, man, at the uh Murrah's office and shit, you know what I'm talking about. So I do this on the side. You know what I'm talking about. You know he don't jog. He talking about he was jogging. No, he wasn't jogging, he was running from the crime scene, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? 
Come on, y'all. Thumb me or give me 400 likes right now. Let, keep me going. Give me 400. Give me 400 likes right now, and I'm going to fire all these suckers up. Because I know Marco gay. Way Marco talk. Man, look. Tell you what. You know what I'm talking about? Because I already done spilled some tea today. You know what I'm talking about? I don't matter. Ooh. Ooh, look at the demoters you put in the chat. The one that I monster. That's what Andrew Hall look like. He look just like the emojis you put in the chat, gang. <laughs> Man, you know, you know, some people got that. Some people look. Some people got that little granddad in their family. Love those little girls. You know what I'm talking about? He loved those little girls always coming to the house and shit. Pull out his pick. Cause you know he you know he don't use no comb. Picking his hair out and shit, trying to mag on them on them little girls. Talking about yeah, jumping my police crews and so we could play with the lights. That's why they be at them little schools, talking to them little boys and stuff. Cause he know them little boy want to jump in the police crew. So what he do, he sit in the driver's seat and tell him, you got to sit on my lap. So he, so he got little Snoop Snoop son out there sitting in his lap and shit. Spoon in the little boy. Look, the little, look, the little boy holding on the stern wheel. And this thing, you know, he started feeling the bump like, damn, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was like, I hope what's going on here. And here go Andrew home. Yeah, give me the next one, please. Breath smell like thunder. You know what I'm talking about? I can see that shit, bro. So once I got a little closer, I both identified myself as Andrew Holmes community activist. He asked me what I want. I asked him, you know, you left the scene of an accident. If I look, if I if I was in the hit and run and the activist chased me down and I said, man, who is you? Man, I'm Andrew Holmes. I'm an activist. Don't you know he finna get a three piece? Man, he finna get knocked the fuck out, bro. Don't you be running up on me, old man. Man, when I get through with him, I'm gonna put them willy lump lumps on his ass. You know what I'm talking about? He gonna be look, he gonna be riding. In their ambulance on their way to the hospital with first degree Willie Lump Lumps on his ass. You know what I'm talking about? Boy, them doctors gonna be like, damn shit. You got so many knots on your motherfucking head, we ain't got nothing to make these kind of swellings go down. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'ma have them folk calling uh Nazza like man look Andrew Home got into a little scuffle and and and, and, they, and the man put some real ooh wee knots on his head and we can't get the swelling down. How we do it, you know what I'm talking about? So they got to fly him over there, to Europe, holla at Pope Benedict, you know what I'm talking about? So yeah, they got to, so he got to bow down in front of the Pope. They got to put that holy oil on them willy lump lumps and pray to the good Lord Jesus. Them hoes go down. You know what I'm talking about? And here I'm at the house, hands swolled up like a motherfucker. Watching the news. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and then look, he look, and then make it so, then the, then the next day, he made it out the hospital and then still snitching on me. Activist Andrew Holmes is known for his work as a victim's advocate, but today he found himself as a crime fighter, helping police make an arrest in a hit and run crash. It happened this afternoon on I-290 near Austin Boulevard. One car hit another while on the expressway and drove off. He then got off the expressway and hit two more vehicles. That's when Holmes spotted him. I went back behind him jogging he never knew I was jogging he went 12 blocks he went past the hospital two blocks past the hospital so I'm still behind him 
But once I got a little close up on him, I identified myself as Andrew. So y'all were jogging 12 blocks and you were gaining on them? <laughs> Man, this is a good story telling, motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Just play that out of y'all head. Look, play it out of y'all head, gang. All right, we ran. Screw, boom, boom. D damn, he hit another car. Ooh, he hit a second car. Now, the car disabled, he gets out. Now, Andrew home, now they in foot pursuit, jogging 12 blocks. In these 12 blocks, Andrew home is slowly gaining up bone. him. Man, this shit sound like an episode of Cops. He seen one of the old cop videos, you know what I'm talking about? Look, I, I don't think no old man like Andrew Home could just be jogging no 12 blocks in that straight. 12, I, I'm, I'm going to see, can I do this shit? You know what I'm talking about? So look, he was gaining a bone. My guess the suspect couldn't run no more. He got tired. But Andrew Home had enough boost. Hey, stop it right there. <laughs> hey, man, who is you? I'm going to you home. I'm going to you. You hit two cars back there, Jack. <laughs> Man, I'm finna three-piece your ass, bro. You see what I'm talking about? Man, I'm finna three-piece your ass. <laughs> and then they over here by old block too. Come on, y'all. This shit. Man, I believe Andrew home. He might run old block. I need to see Andrew home in the game because he act like it, bro. Man, he act like he over the BDs or something. You know, they could be big BD right here. <laughs> they look like he big BD gang. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Andrew home, man. He lying like a motherfucker. Watch this. Home's community activist. He asked me what I want. I asked him. You know, you left the scene of an accident. I got to detain you. Put your hands on me. You ben put them dick beaters. Who arrested the man. Home. You touch me with them booty touching ass hands. You know what I'm talking about? You know what? When they get his ass convicted, they need to make him a part of him. If he get on probation or something, they need to make him wear a shirt while he on probation. He can't take it off like an anchor monitor. I touch little boys, goddamn. For real, I touch little boys. I'm looking at Andrew Holmes. He can't even stand up right. You know what I'm saying? Because he, oh, he, his knees bad. His, he got... Come on, y'all. Y'all know when Andrew Home when he get through chasing down people and shit. You know what I'm saying? When he get through fighting crime at night. It's like it's like somewhere right now, it's a grocery store about to be robbed. And and, and, and Andrew Holmes get a tingling feeling like Damn, it feel like it's a robbery being somewhere. So guess what he do? He go pick out his earth roll and put on his murder clothes. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I believe all that shit be set up, bro. You know what I'm talking about? He got too much time on his hands. Because you doing all the this. He says three people from the first car were taken to the hospital. The suspect is also being treated for his injuries. So look at this. Drinking warm water before bed resets blood sugar levels and reverses They land, don't believe it. Thousands of people. If you have to be outside, and with more on that is Audrina Biggis. Audrina? Steve, we're already seeing single digit temperatures Damn, here man, along below. the front here in Uptown. And this feels even colder out here with these wind chills. It's dangerous conditions for those living here, and there could be even more forced to live on the streets this week. I put three or four comforters on the top. Doing whatever it takes to stay warm. Mm. But it's freezing out and it's only going to get worse. Joe and Maria Murray, two of hundreds living under about five uptown viaducts. 
and we have each other. So he look like an FBI agent. While more tents line up along the Lawrence Viaduct in Uptown, there could be even more people forced here from this shelter two blocks away. It's days away from closing down. It just appalls me in this rich city that we have this problem. Sorry Police about that dream, darling. Political failure from the city to state level, criticizing the state for failing to come up with one hundred thousand dollars needed to keep. Cause they stole the money. Andrew Holmes them stole them for money, bro. Keep it open. We're not even anywhere close to having enough shelter beds for every homeless Chicagoan, and yet, in the face of that, our city and state are. Uh, Cause they took all the beds at the homeless shelter and put them in the brothel for the little boys and shit. Um, cutting back. Community activist Andrew Holmes Man, is sleeping come. outside under the viaduct tonight in the dangerously cold conditions, hoping to send a message to And who is that he's sleeping by? Bruh. Hell no, bruh. Now he out there with the homeless and sleeping next to a fat girl. Look. Laters. What is the problem that you can't come to agreement to get the budget fixed and to help the people? I think the money is there. See, now Andrew Holmes, take it. Look, they got them Andrew Holmes trying to kidnap somebody, bro. And the news called him, you know, and turned out. So, look, he was on the mission that night and the news was on their job. Like, we got to go do this story about the homeless. So they go out there, and this thing, you know, he out there. Be like Andrew Holmes, you damn it! Oh, yeah, I'm down here protesting, talking about where the money at. What happened to the budget? You see what I'm talking about? It's just a matter of the will. There were 72 beds in that shelter down the street. Activists say they want all 72 beds replaced in new shelters. I spoke to a city spokesperson today. She tells me that all the remaining residents in the shelter will be placed somewhere else. Hi, team. We are coming up on a big fun. Oh, have mercy. You funny looking you lady. Right now, we'll determine. Evening news at 6. Hang on. New here at 6, a serious safety hazard for residents of South Suburban Dalton. Yeah, many of the village's fire hydrants are not in any working order. WGN's Sean Lewis joins us live from Dalton with more I mean, on the at him, man. So you just walk down the street like, damn, we need fire hydrants and everything. Man, y'all see how Andrew Home chasing that money? Man, we just got a donation for the homeless people where it went to. See, y'all done put the, the world went to, y'all done put a damn payment on the kidnapping van. Look, they done went, in, they done went to the car lots and bought about three, four hooties and staged hits and runs all over Chicago while Andrew Holmes chasing suspect. Damn. I mean, why would you get out on foot? You could have just chased him in your car. I don't know, man. Andrew Hong got a serious problem, bro. Sean Lewis joins us live. From Look Long at him. More on the story tonight. Sean? Yeah, I need to talk to the mayor about this. Yeah, I see not... another chick. <laughs> man, you, look. Well, he need to walk around my neighborhood because we need plenty of them jumps around here, bro. No, I ain't no, because you get him on it. He'll have us campaigning, protests, and then they're going to cut the check. You see what I'm saying? So when they cut the check, Andrew Holmes, he done quit. He done got, he done, <laughs> he done went back to Chicago. <laughs> Put in the application. <laughs> Found the new job, like, fuck it. Then everybody like, where the money he like, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I done quit. You got to take that up with the Merle. <laughs> if you look at Andrew Hall haircut, you know he keep, you know he take pride in his hair because he keep it the same way, the same length. 
So I know he got a big ass can of oil sheen over there. You know what I'm talking about? Before that sucker even go to work, he all in the mirror and shit, shaking that motherfucking can up. And when he spray, he gonna spray that hoe like this. Time out, man. I'm dizzy as hell. I'm about to pass out in this bitch. I mean, he got to spray the whole bottle on that motherfucker. Check him out, y'all. Not just the side streets, Ray and Micah, that uh, we're looking at here. We're in a major intersection here on Sibley Boulevard, and uh, a couple of safety issues that uh, were pointed out to us. First one's right here, as you said, those fire hydrants. This one is not only sunken into the ground, but also sitting on what appears to be a 35, 40 degree angle. Certainly. Man, you like Andrew Holmes, um, bumped, bagged up in the back of that, John. Look, he done bagged the truck up and knocked it and, and knocked that junk, got that junk crooked now and called the state. Man, y'all got a problem. We got a serious problem. Out here. They're like, what? The fire hydrant's fucked up. Because <laughs> you know Andrew Holmes know what to look for when he come to the city. I, look. Don't you know how many people walk past by this shit? Like, man, fuck that goddamn. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, nah, Andrew Holmes know the government got a check and ready for this shit. You know what I'm talking about? No, nah, Andrew Holmes do or his her up. He just ain't gonna oil it up when he committing crimes and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Because you don't want to follow the drip, drip, drip. You know, like on house party, you don't want to get caught up like this. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we don't follow all the drips. Look, you, look, you follow the drip right. That motherfucker lead to a a, a, a goddamn unmarked federal van. You know what I'm talking about? That look like the van really disguised as a uh a a a a, 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 a delivery van. But inside that motherfucker, he got a cage, change, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker soundproof and everything, bro. You know what I'm talking about? So look. Not something that fire crews would be able to access easily if there was, in fact, an emergency right here. The other one, take a look at this, exposed wiring from what used to be, we presume, a street light. Just beyond the city limits of Chicago, the village of Dalton is hometown to celebrities like Jane Lynch and the NFL's Donovan McNabb. But today, it's also home to what some here say is decay and neglect. Dalton is a great place, but it's bad when you really don't know the inside. Among them is Andrew Holmes, known by many as a community activist and victim's advocate. Holmes is now running for mayor of Dalton. And you say, welcome to Dalton? What are you really welcoming them into Dalton for? Let's take a look inside of Dalton and see what's really going on. Just below this billboard, littered with smiling village leaders off I-94, sits this parcel of land, littered with a wasteland of junk, despite warnings of no dumping and cameras watching. Though this one camera we found had its cord cut. I see the village of Dalton is going down. Come on, man. Y'all know Andrew Hall cut their cord so they won't see that man fucking with them fire hydrants. You know what I'm saying? And then he knocking on the neighbor's door and she be like, look, just get on the news and tell them for you really concerned about that fire hydrant. Because Andrew Hall need that check, bro. That's what I'm finna start doing. I'm finna just jump in my shit. If I see something broke around the seat, I'm going straight to the mirror, man. Look, y'all need to cut that chicken on so I can go fix that shit over there. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't got to call no contractor. Give me the money. I go get the pause for it. 
When I come back, you're going to have a big and better fire hydrant when I get through with it. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to change that motherfucker to a sprinkler system. <laughs> the police really going to be mad seeing a bunch of black kids having fun. You know what I'm talking about? Now, nah, we got to put an end to this shit. We got to put an end to this shit. Pearl Greens called Dalton home for the last 45 years and sees the problem. Things need to be fixed, you know. One of the most glaring fire hydrants like this one. The only one here for more than two blocks. A resident telling us it's been this way for the better part of a decade. These houses get called a fire. Where are you getting the water from? If it's on this end over here, now you got to run across the street to the Chicago side and get their water. It shouldn't have to be like that. By looking at that, you know, that's wrong. A wrong, says Miss Pearl, that should be righted. For her and Holmes, it comes down to safety. We got to adjust what we got to do to save some lives. And this is what it's about, saving some lives. Because if it's a liability risk and it's a lawsuit, guess who? Like I said, straight ahead, right past the window, we saw her come through that way. There's no way you can come through that way. Man, I don't care what nobody say. Bro, I believe Andrew Home be messing with those little girls because he fit the profile. That's why them old men be always at the grocery store, gang. Why you think you see so many old men at the grocery store? Because that's why all the females, because look, the females done got, look, the females done got their stamps. They finna go grocery shopping. He finna hang, he finna hang out in the fruit section and wait till y'all ass get up in there, John. And soon you get up in there, John, here come that old man. Got a pocket full of chains jingling them, John. Ching, 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 smelling like boot. Talking about some, hey, sugar darling, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, look at you, little darling, you. You know what I'm saying? You know, in those days, they call you darling. <laughs> Hello, my love. You know what I'm saying? They don't talk like that no more. You know what I'm talking You know what I was thinking about doing? I was like, man, the next pretty girl I see, her, I'm going to greet her like they do in the old days. You know what I'm talking about? I'm standing right in front of her, get on my knees and hold her hand and kiss her on the palm of her hand and shit. <laughs> see, is that cool? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Smell like a big ass ball of brew. All on our four and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Where the SpaghettiOs at? Tell my hello, my darling. Hello, my love. Ooh, baby, look at you. Look like a whole box of Debbie cakes. <laughs> Ooh, look at those. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, he got them old man pickup lines and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Catch your ass out, God. So, yeah. So yeah, next time you know, you know, to me, you give him that number shit, cause he, cause he talking good. He like, yeah, I'm gonna pay your phone bill, rent. You know what I'm talking about? I know I got all this shit, cause he do got that money. He ain't he gonna do it? Man, them, yeah, he. Hey, what you say? What you say, sugar? <laughs> 
Just imagine having a conversation with an old man talking about hooking up. Yeah, I just want to just come on over there and uh, give me some of that uh, poom pie. I'm like, poom pie? What you talking about? The cooking? Yeah, whatever y'all call it these days, you know what I'm talking about? Where I come from, we call it the dungeon of death. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They said Lira Nora got them could suck a golf ball through a water hole. You know what I'm saying? They said it's like dropping a pipe, a pipe down the goddamn tunnel, bro. Yeah, I just come on over here, you know, to out and uh because you know them old mans, you know they don't like that fresh pussy. Nah, no, they don't like that fresh pussy out the water. Cause the old man told me he was like, man, I don't like that pussy. Them pussy with no smells on it. He was like, nah, I don't want that. He said he he said he want that junk with a little piss smell to it, a little mud smell to it. Let it know it's real pussy. You know what I'm saying? I said, man, what kind of shit this is, bro? But he said that's what I like. You know what I'm talking about? Hi, y'all. I appreciate that cash app game, y'all. Damn. Man, what's up with what y'all got going on? Damn, when a nigga crack jokes, that's how y'all do? Oh, here you go, Trey Gang. Keep that shit coming. Damn. All right. Shit. I'm just saying, bro. That was Andrew Home. This way I see it. This way I see Andrew Home. And then look, then he got to take off his clothes and he got some fruit balloons on. Because, you know, them old men just really don't wear boxes no more. So he got them man bikini drawers on, you know, then, you know, them junk going to be two size small. You know what I'm talking about? Cause you buy your tighter white is too tight small it make your nuts look big you know what i'm talking about that's why you see them old man check it out y'all when y'all be just say if you go to uh uh like a uh a, a social security office or a dinner office peep out them old man with those swags i'm talking about them old man with those swag you know how they think they be fresh you know they think they got on they think they be having on Gucci, but it be some, uh, it, that man probably had that outfit since the seventies and still in good condition. And, and he put them hoes on. He feel like back in his younger day. You see what I'm saying? And then look. Peep out them old man, cause when they sit down, it's a particular way that you got to cross your leg. All the real niggas know what I'm talking about. It's a particular way you got to cross your leg. Cause all you doing is putting the nuts on top. That's how I get all my chicks. I go to the bar and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, give me a double shot, please. You know what I'm talking about? And soon when I see that chick coming toward my way, you know what I'm talking about? See, I like to... I, I don't sit directly on the stool. I slouch out for it. You know what I'm talking about? With those leg crawls. Because soon, because you know, I got them skinny jeans on. Because them young niggas like, man, you got to get you a pair of skinny jeans, Jack. So I'm like, well, that's a new trend. Let me get, get, get some of these hoes. You know what I'm talking about? So I got me some skinny jeans. And boy, they got these nuts popping. <laughs> I said, shit, I can't wait to go out and shit. Man, goddamn it, bruh. When I mean, man, look, I was riding. And I was like, let me check out my, you know, I looked down where I was driving and shit. I'm like, damn, these nuts really sitting on top of these motherfuckers. You know what I'm talking about? So all that day, I just been running errands all that motherfucking day. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I was like, let me go to the phone shop right quick. You know what I'm talking about? Go to the phone shop. Ooh, I was in look because it was a couple of them in there. A couple of nice little females, you know what I'm talking about. They're like, sir, can I help you? I'm like, nah, I'll wait, you know what I'm talking about. I have a seat right over here, you know what I'm talking about. 
So I sit my cool ass down, you know, jumped on my phone and gently crossed my motherfucking legs. So, so look, when I, when I cross my leg, I'm like, look, they going to look, I'm going to give it a little time. So I'm in my phone playing around, you know, I'm checking my emails to make sure, you know what I'm saying? That somebody sent me some tea, you know, about this Kanika Jenkins case, you know what I'm talking about? So when I look my head up, she, she was eyeballing me, you know, it's even like she was in a daze. Cause I see the little drool and shit coming down her motherfucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? Cause when she saw when I looked up, she she seen that I seen the look. Then she tried to turn rack and talk back to the the Iranian dude. Yeah, then come over there and have a seat by me. You know what I'm talking about? I like I seen that coming. Talking about what you here for? I'm like, bitch, you talking like we in jail or something? You know what you mean? Why I'm in here for? Trying to give me an update on my goddamn phone, pay this bill off. You know what I'm talking about? Shit. Man, I'm all at the grocery store on Al Four standing bow legged. Ain't trying to buy shit. <laughs> shit, I just go to the mall and just sit on the bench in that motherfucker. And so all the females can have something to look at it when they walk my way. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck with me. You gonna have a blessed day, goddammit. Shit, they just like how us men do when y'all female look, y'all female know how big your booty is. Come on now. And you got these jeans on and you know how that motherfucker clapping in the back. Come on now. You got that big ass booty, then you parking at, at pump four and you jump out there jump, and you jogging like what Andrew Holmes said. You jogging your thick big booty ass in that stone. I'm like, God damn. You got a nigga running up behind that John. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Look, you trying your best to get that attention. You know what I'm talking about? First, it started off like this. Hey, baby, how you doing? What's up, baby? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, oh, miss. Hey, miss. Miss. Fuck it. You dropped some bitch. <laughs> Damn, I mean that motherfucker. Then it's like when a man see it, when you see that booty, goddamn it, running in that stone like that, bro, and you smell the, you smell the scent behind it, cause you know she got on that bath and beyond of work, and got a house coat on. Man, I'm finna chase that junk, cause that booty starts slow mowing. I'm like, damn, it was, it was like everything slowed down. My heart skipped the beat. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't heard no more cars, no traffic, none of that. I just heard clapping and thundering. Clap, 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 clap. Doom, doom, doom. I'm just woo. Man, that motherfucker, I went in the store, pulled out my bankroll. Man, let me get a big ass bag of chips out this motherfucker and break this hundred. You see what I'm talking about? But that's how uh Marco and Scray drop now. Cause I believe they gay too, bro. They be fucking with those little boys. Yeah, booty like that. I jog 12 miles too. You know what I'm talking about? I run to that motherfucker. Man, I could just admit, look what Andrew Hone do at night, bro. Andrew Hone sit up there and lie to his his wife. I want to know what his wife look like, cause I know she got to be a sweet old lady, and he and he done came and you know ran some of them old runner runner Ashley brothers lines, you know what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? And she fell for it and he like, yeah, uh, I bet you he never home. Cause look at how much work he does. He never at the house. 
Yeah, baby, I got to go in in the morning. All right, what time you'll be home? I don't know. I'm going to call you and let you know. Later on that day, yeah, I got to work again. And damn it, it's going on a month now. He ain't even came to the house. She be like, usually he'll come home at least on the weekend because that's when he like to wash his greens and, and, and pick the peas and stuff, pick his greens and stuff. Because, <laughs> you know, them old folk, when they go go shop, you know, they like to go get them greens. They like to sit down and pick them junk and watch the news and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Allegedly, you know what I'm talking about? But hold on, y'all. Payow, payow, Jack. I appreciate that, y'all. All right, all right. But y'all see what I'm saying, though. But look, that's how I be getting most of my cheeks. I be going out, you know, so I fix myself up, you know, time out. Go wash the car, gas them up real good. I let my, I let one of my, my pimp friends, you know, I got a pimp friend named Pretty Tony, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I let some of my pimp friends, you know what I'm saying? Cause we got to get the day started, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to do my little errands and shit, you know what I'm saying? Go to the park or something. Cause female love to go to the park with their kids. Man. And look, when a female, check this out. Don't let you have a little teacup poodle and you taking it for a walk in the park and you got this lady here up there with her little son and daughter and she like, oh my God, look at the pup. Then she gonna forget all about that pup once I do my signature, you know what I'm talking about? When I sit down on that bitch and have that discussion, oh yeah, I know where your mind is now, boo. You know what I'm talking about? Just like y'all women go on a date and want to show a little chest off and thinking the nigga ain't looking. Then how y'all gonna sit up and invite us on a date and with your titties halfway hanging out and got a problem when a nigga looking at them John? I'm like, girl, don't you know how them motherfuckers look so delicious right now? And you got them whole oiled up with glitter? Bitch, them hoes looking like Twinkies right now. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I'm trying to smash them Johns. And then you sitting up here, man. You, man, you smelling like goddamn a, a, a bowl of fruit. Girl, you looking like dinner right now. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Them women know what they be doing, bro. My household laughing while we up smoking. Holmes probably got those heavy nuts that hang all the way down to his knees. You know he do. You know he do, bro. You know the motherfucker might be longer than the actual, actual private part. You know what I'm saying? He might have one no little the little no with the big chin looking at me. You know what I'm talking about? Man, look, somebody get tired because that lady there be having me rolling too, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But when I be cutting up, she gonna crack a joke, bro. So goddamn might be like, man, this, whoever that lady there here. I show hate. If she had a man or something, and, and he want to argue with her, oh, shit, she going to get the best of his ass. Oh, she going to get the best of his ass. You know what I'm talking about? She going to crack that joke on his ass. He going he, he gonna to feel some type. He can't even get mad. He Look, she going to get him so good, he ain't going to want to argue. He going to be, man, just shit up. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, gang. I got me a new job, too. 
I got me a new job and shit. They got me working at uh club. They got me working at uh club shake something tonight. I seen the warning sign. I said, y'all looking for some, y'all say y'all looking for some good, good men, ain't it? They be like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? So I like, I'm interested. What I got to do to sign up? You know what I'm talking about? That man said, you know how to clap that wrong? I said, man, I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I was like, I'm a good dancer, but I don't do all that booty popping this shit. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, I'm trying to convince him, like, man, you need some good scribbles in this junk. They don't do all that butt popping and shit. Nigga, I know how to do the robot nigga and the, 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 the motherfucker fucking chicken in this bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Some women might don't want to see all that. I might want to come and do a uh, goddamn Michael Jackson theme in that motherfucker. But now nah, they had to keep me out the club because all them old ladies in there were going crazy over nigga, bruh. Man, them old ladies are some freaks. But look, you know, I had to come out and shit. You know what I'm talking about? What this night I was, I won Batman that night. I won, and I won Robin. You know what I'm talking about? Last, last time I popped out a cake. Who I was, I think I was RoboCop. <laughs> you know, I'm dressed up like Robo, walking like a robot on stage. <laughs> Man, them old lady went crazy, bro. They like, who is that? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they had to come to the stage ripping all my equipment out. They couldn't take it no more. You know what I'm talking about? Man, Miss Pearl done threw a whole social security check on the stage. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Look, they introduced me on the stage. I had smoke popping up, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I got bad boys in the bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. With a jersey on with the number 87 on the back, say hung low, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, y'all, uh, you know, y'all know I play basketball over overseas too. Y'all might want to go check in to that too. I'm number 87, my last name, Hunlo. <laughs> yeah, you should have heard that now that heard me lay up. There goes Hunlo. He's moving down the court. You know what I'm talking about? Oh my God, he's shot from three lands. You know what I'm talking about? <coughs> Pie y'all, man, y'all got my head hurt so bad, gang. Yeah. I was dressed up like Batman in one of my skits. If you come to my show, you'll see what exactly I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, sometime I, I look, sometimes when they see the stage, the curtain be closed. They don't even see me yet. You know what I'm talking about? Only thing they see is my shadow. And when they see their shadow, they always be saying I was holding the stick. But I'm like, that's all me. You know what I'm talking about? So look, they see what I'm doing in my shadows and shit because they thought I was playing a good talk because you know I'm picking it like a good talk. You know, that motherfucker long like a good talk now. You know what I'm talking about? I'm in there scrumming that John. You know what I'm talking about? Why the curtain slowly is open, you know what I'm talking about? Because I'm already, you know, naked, greased up, you know what I'm talking about? And I got a stool right there. And I got one leg hanging out the stool, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but ass naked with nothing but steel toe boots on, you know what I'm talking about? Doing the split. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't knock my hustle. Don't knock my hustle, Jack. Who you think this is, bro? This train got in production. You need to be trying to subscribe to the channel and get to know me, bro, because I'm spilling the tea. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody know hung low. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I remember when I told my son, you know, I said, yeah, buddy, you know what I'm talking about? 
I said, now I got to call you Han Lo Jr. now. You know, he was like, what you talking about, daddy? I'm like, yeah, you nigga, you blessed. You just don't know it yet. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even looking down. You ain't thinking about your size, man, yet. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? But you'll see, you know what I'm talking about, when you knock, when you knock your first chick down with this John. You know what I'm talking about? Hell yeah, yeah, gang. Yeah, you know how them old land ladies, you know what I'm talking about? You know, they gonna be throwing them old, them big ass bras. Y'all know them old land lady be having them big giant ass bra. It seems like why the older the lady get, the bigger the titties is. Because I see some old lady, bro, with some big ass titties. And I'm like, I know that lady back hurt because them some big motherfuckers, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I I fuck with girls that had double D's, you know what I'm talking about. And, and, and I fuck with some in the triple section, and they all said they back hurt. So you got these big John. Damn, I see. You know what I'm talking about? That's why them old women be looking out their window, be trying to catch them young nigga going to the store and shit. You know what I'm talking about? I know how them old ladies do, because they got me one time. Going in the store, talking about, oh, come here, baby. I'm the oh, hey, now, you know what I'm talking about, sister Pearl, you know what I'm talking about. And I need you to come on up here, and I need you to uh, reach up there and give me that up there, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm reaching up there, getting what she want, and this time, you know, she asking for, you know what I'm talking about, a little something, something. And I'm like, she, how much you talking? Man, that lady went and pulled out a perker jar. That mother had number hundreds in that motherfucker. She been saving her goddamn money every since. <laughs> and she is a hundred. She been saving her money for the last 80 years. And then get me back in the bedroom and trying to give me $25. Mom, like, wait a minute, Miss Pearl, no. Hell no, now we arguing about the money and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Well, you, you you know, you you just ain't do all the requirements that I wanted you to do, baby. <laughs> Man, I said I came over here and knocked the dust off this pussy, baby. You know what I'm talking about? At least give me 20 more, you know what I'm talking about? Give me 20 more dollars, you know what I'm talking about? Or that give me a gram, a six-pack, you know what I'm talking about? And give me a three piece from the gas station. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. And then she gonna wear that little house coat. You know, it's that one house coat. You know what I'm saying? That Miss Pearl got that that one house coat that she knows she finna get something in. She finna get some action in that John. Cause they always had that house coat on with nothing up under that John. Just imagine you tell her to bust that house coat open and you see them big ass drawers she wearing, bro. I'm talking about these drawers, you know, when them old women, they just buy the size, not the size to make it, you know, you know, most women buy the job like, let me see how these look on me. Let me turn around and look at the ass, the ass popping. Yeah, the ass popping. I want these. You know what I'm talking about? But they just go buy drawers, you know, just, just to put them hoes on. She has some big ass, look, she has some big ass Hawaiian trees on that shit. I'm like, I thought they supposed to be little buttercups. Little roses on these motherfuckers. You know what I'm talking about? Bitch had whole trees on them junk, bro. I couldn't take it no more, bro. I'm talking about, man, I'm laid up in the bed. I'm out of breath and shit. I look over and looking at her. She look like Harry Tubman. I'm like, man, Lord, please forgive me. You know what I'm talking about? Man. I had to smash this old lady and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm hitting that junk. She, oh, baby, you slow it down now, baby. 
She was like, ooh, where you hit it? I must still got that fire. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Then I'm trying to get her in position. I got to wait because we got to crack her leg and shit. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. My back. Wait a minute. Uh, let me turn this way uh, and pop that back. All right. I'm good. You know what I'm talking about? That's all I'm saying, bro. I know them old ladies, bro. That's what they do. She going to be wearing, look, she going to be wearing a house coat with nothing up under that joint with some big ass flip flops. And you know, when they get old, they feet be swelling up because it's full of sugars and fluids. So if you look at her feet, if you stand right and you look down at those feet, you like, damn, is this a basketball player? Cause damn. Cause it's like all them old women, they don't wear a, a lady size shoe no more. Like they were doing in their teens and they, and they, and they, and they, and they, and they younger, you know what I'm saying? Days, man, they full them got, they, they, man, look, it's a lady named goddamn it, Susa Pearl at our church. She wore a size 14. We couldn't even find no shoes for her, bro. Man, we had to call Shaq. Jack had to come down there and give Pearl his shoe. Then them whole burly fit. You see what I'm talking about? We was there with Reverend Trimmer. We was all praying, Lord, please let her, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, she got some shacks on. You know, he gave him his MVP shoes. The one he uh won the championship with Kobe. And then the only prayer he had, you know what I'm talking about. And she like, I want these. <laughs> yeah, you feel what I'm talking about? And, and then look, got drunk, drunk driving, and he's something that she locked up. Now she down there for a DUI and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Look, she look, she done went to the she done went to the Walgreens, you know what I'm talking about? And you know, she gotta get her little medicine and shit. Look, she got her little medicine and shit. She done pop her a perk 30. Now we both at the red light. Z knocked out. Police. Wake up, man! I'm like, man, what's going on? You know what I'm talking about? Where we at? You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> she still knocked out, cause you know when them old folk go to sleep, I'm like, sometimes they'll stop breathing. Like, oh shit! Be like, wake up, Miss Pearl, wake it up! You know what I'm talking about? That bitch take a deep ass breath. <laughs> the fuck you waking me up? So look, we had, we had, we had the bow red light. Sleep like a mother. Police come to the car. They, they thinking we on dope. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no drugs in the car. I don't. <laughs> I said, I ain't got shit in it, mother. You know, I don't know what you talking about. She like, yeah, I got some perk 30s. They prescribed to me, baby. <laughs> They like step out the car, you know, she got adjust the wig, you know what I'm talking about. She had a skirt, you know, rizzled up, you know what I'm talking about. Cause you know when she drive, I like to rub on her thighs when she driving shit. I you no know, rub on that John, you know what I'm talking about. Play with that Gucci on high 69, you know what I'm talking about. Heading back to the house and shit, you know what I'm talking about? See, I'm going to bust your ass up as soon as we get to the house. Ain't that, that's right, baby. <laughs> now, look at here now. I want you to give it to me every little bitch you got. Don't you hesitate. You make sure you give me all of it. <laughs> yeah, you put it, you get that job in. She's like, all right, you give me all of it, baby.
Yeah, she playing some old jazz that done came out in 1919. You ain't never heard none of this shit. That old jazz sound like that porn music. Full of per 30s. Sound like Gucci Man playing in the background. Sound like some real trap music, don't it, gang? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, gang, look. Pi y'all appreciate the cash out gang too, y'all. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, gang. I'm just glad I'm just had to make y'all laugh a little bit, you know what I'm talking about. Lighten up the move a little bit, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I just want y'all to have fun and stuff. We're going to go live tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you saying? No, baby. I need that 20 for church in the morning. <laughs> hey, won't that be something you trying to ask her for a little money? Be like, yeah, me, uh, Miss Pearl. You know what I'm talking about? Let me go and get that little uh, $20 from I give you back to you next week when I get paid. Nah, baby, I got to pay you dipping in my tithe money. You know what I'm talking about? I got to give this to the Lord. <laughs> oh, you want to give it to the Lord, huh? Oh, I'm finna fix that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. She ain't gonna see me for a couple of days. She's gonna be calling my phone. Where you at, baby? I just done cook some some candy yams, some green cornbread, neck bones. I'm gonna leave the door open for you. Cause she never gonna argue with you, you know. She don't care what you got in your phone, bro. You know what I'm talking about? She don't care about them little young skeezels, you know what I'm talking about? She ain't finna give you no lesson. You need to be with me. No. She finna go let you. Look, she finna go let you do what you want. And she gonna let you know when you get through doing what you doing, baby. I got you some yams. I got you some greens and some neck bones in the microwave. Because when you come back home, look, you come back home at 5 o'clock in the evening. She already sleep. She is done for the night, bro. You know what I'm talking about? So you you pretty much get away with a whole lot of shit. You know what I'm talking about? That means you can wait till she go to sleep around about five or six because they usually go to sleep when the news go off. So yeah, boom, you know what I'm talking about? So they in their sleep, so you can shit, you can you can basically, you know what I'm saying, come back early in the morning, but you got to be in the house before five. Cause them motherfucker wake up way too early, bro. Man, they'll wake up in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Then they're about three in the morning cooking hog mouths. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Man, I remember when, when one of my chicks found out and I got caught with them. And when I got caught with her, that's why, that's how I knew where she keep all her blades in. She keep her blade up under her wig and shit. Because, you know, them old ladies, they like to wear them big-ass wigs and shit like Tina Turner did. You know what I'm talking about? So she got a big-ass Tina Turner wig on. That motherfucker was so big. I'm like, damn, boo. You might well put my Glock in that motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Put this Draco up part of that motherfucker. She got a whole Draco sitting on her head. Because you know her head big as hell too. You know what I'm talking about? Because all that medication and shit, that shit got side effects, bro. Man, that, that medicine got that lady head big as hell. Man, when that lady took that wig off because she barely got her and shit. Because look, Cause you know I always she always sit in that rocking chair. So I so when she be in that rocking chair, I be standing behind the rocking chair, giving her a, a a soda massage. But when she ain't got that wig on and I'm looking at the top of her head, it feel like I'm giving George Jefferson a fucking soda massage, bro. 
Cause she ain't got no her in the middle, but she got it on the side though. You know what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? That's the her dude she got, and she ain't got that wig on, bro. But uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, gang, I'm getting up. I'm getting up out there, John. I appreciate the love and support. I appreciate the cash out gang and the super chat. And appreciate the, the new subscriber too. They hitting their bell too, gang. You know what I'm talking about? So when I go live tomorrow, if I see if I, if I see y'all on my live tomorrow, then hit that goddamn thumbs up and share my goddamn video, bro. We're gonna have some real percussion going on this job. Hi y'all. Check out love y'all, man. Y'all be cool and y'all be safe. And I'm out, Jack.